another Savior. Holy, 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 well, this is Mobien. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPO families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra War mm, in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. One man revives the vanishing hope to life Ah, let the great be a friend of me to fight And they were singing out Holy, 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 holy All I ever do is another savior They were singing out Holy, 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 holy All I ever do is another savior Who 
Mubi boka nije bwaba no mwani Na usa pata goka Onye la rola no no Onye la rola Ebule buye Ojo afoga no Mubi boka nje mwolanya Oku do modu no nya kanyi chipia Oku do modu kanyi chipia Anye buibo live music entertainment Yeah Onye mwe no tiga nyi tino lu Onye mwe no tiga nyi tino lu Oku do modu no nya kanyi na buibo Twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen, no bullet. A guanya nemesi. Oh, my dear friend, can you tell me no lie? Oh, my dear friend, can you tell me no lie? Makanonye la rola, ebule buye. Mwesi iboche kwaba no mumbo. Kizimakandinatwe Fajulu no fia Akuko sotine kena melo kamalo Osini fabula gama Mwaba nube Mwe cheki siyongwe mwe sikita baya manube Onyobu na wete mwe Biko wete mwe Onyobu na kunite Biko mwola nya Onye mwola nya nenu wakifone ma mwola nya Makila lola, onye nona kukebule mwai Je chaba kwa pechi, je chaba kwa mwegu Debe nona yi, mwabe kwa wentu Mwabe kwa wentu, idebe bayi Icho ziye pompa choni idebe Iweche kwa bo mwai Iweche kwa bano mwunu Awo sabo choka Awo sabo choka Ande usa fajule chuo Fajulu nusa kolio, nata usa fajule boni steady, nata usa fajulu na nambala, fajule nuku steady juna delta, wenye buna bule buya bulu magio, usa fajoka. Good. Onye 
Ukuibo Ibe ne mani siyani naka Mwane na mwane ya juru na chwano Awe si nuku ya di kukwano Ukuibo Oko nyanga la mwane ya Kade kage na mwane kisi china doni si nuku ya di kukwano Oye mu Kade ife melongi If this is the one in a game, if this is the one in a game, can each and we run for a bit, not so no. I said, if this is the one in a game, if one in a we run for a bit, not so no. Can you put the one in a game and they are the same? Makandane kuifewe Fano rongo na nimo Nekono kiti nye life no kwa folo ya Iro na kulele Fano ya Ika ne mugu Fano ya Ika ni hiala Fano ya Ika na nimo Fano ya Uni mwache kwa mano mundu e Awo zamba takoka ifakari ibo cheka bano mundo. Awo zamba taka ibo cheka bano mundo. Awo zamba taka umu ibo. Awo zamba taka ibo cheka bano mundo. Awo zamba taka ofu obi kani cholo. Awo zamba taka ofu obi kani gaji meli. Awo zamba taka. Ofwe bi kani geji ka, awo zama taka. Ofwe bi kani geji, awo zama taka. Obulu 
ne mwero nye kegula nyono anye Epa boni no biko no sike Epa boni ne mwero nye kegula nyono anye Epa boni no nani bia fra biko no sike Makana marombo gemido E mwero nye mambo gafro Ofe godu obulu godo fwo nye ibute tupe kwe Aima Awusa batonga Makane mwero nye mboke bido Ifuko nandia maganyime Obodobo nandia ladoba la nyindi fulani Baga la vipu ime gini Anachua Anachua fi anachua fi nani Fachisi kwa fi di nobo de fafa jibaba nobo dani Ibo kanye mulu nanyo Ibo kanye mulu nanyo Yafra kanye mulu nanyo Ebulu muna budo kade lifo nye mwanya Umi bo kanye mulu nanyo Ebo muna ndino nisi Ndino nisi efe luganyo Kanye kwa dozi yo mwanyo kamunepe Eba bu nandi ke kula no mwanyo disapointi ganyi Kanyi kwa do mwanyo fume Aleli Obulu godo fwonye, obulu godo fwonye elaro Manyabu abu su wanem Iyo, 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 iyo Aleli mwanyo mo epe lo katu ke nondwe Ibo che kwa mwanyo mwanyo Aousabatoka Faro Faro 
Asina ni na fa bubu. Opa nzu kafa na tu. Opo no ge kweme umi bo na zanu no no. Kanye we rofu bibili. Together we stand. But the father we follow, he won't take over no more. I was a bad talker. He didn't care. I was a bad talker. I got plenty no more. I was a bad talker. They put his finger on the answer. I was a bad talker. Anna, what did you do to him? I was a bad talker. He went to the doctor so romantic. I was a bad talker. I was so tired of my own desire. I was a bad talker. Who could never know who no good can know? I was a bad talker. I was so tired of the no good who's a good day we got na. I was a bad talker. If a big guy check up and no good, I was a bad talker. Good evening, wonderful people, great beer friends, wherever you are domiciled, wherever you are living on the face of this very planet Earth, I welcome you to an extraordinary session. This very day, a very special program of Radio Biafra, live presentation, on this very day, the seventh day of June, in the year of the Most High Elohim, Chukwoki Kabyama Prumi 2020. The time now is seven minutes past 7 p.m. in Biafra land and seven minutes past the top of the hour, regardless of where you are. That is how you know it is live. If you look on your clock right now, your wristwatch, if it is set accurately, it should be reading eight minutes past the top of the hour. Therefore, if you are to listen to this very broadcast again, and the time doesn't rhyme, you know it is recorded. Or it's a replay, not recorded. We are not like Asarok. It is a live presentation. Humanity is at a standstill. Mankind is listening. Every important governmental agency around the world is listening to Radio Biafra at this precise moment. And I will say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to those who, for them, it is midnight. I must say good night to you. Because regardless of where you are, you are listening to us live and direct. We are simulcasting not just on my Facebook page, Mazin Namdekano, not the fake ones set up by DSS. The, the authentic page that Facebook has refused to beauty because they are in cahoots with the government of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria to suppress free speech and our God-given right to agitate for our freedom. I welcome each and every one of you. I will ask you to welcome those who are around you. We are on FM in Biafra and also in Lagos. We are on FM in Lagos, 95.1. If you are in Lagos, 95.1, you will listen to us. We are on satellite. We are on apps all over the place. Just go to Google and type, how can I listen to Radio Biafra? Abuja right now, 
is at a standstill. All the places, should I say, where they call the, the four arms zone, everywhere is quiet. Do you know why? They are listening to Namdekano. Right? Call any of them and see if you will get them. You can't get them. They are listening to this gospel. Because they too want to learn. They too want to be set free. And we are going to set them free this very evening. My name is Nam Dekano. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra all over the world, but no. The very indomitable IPOB, the whole world, on a thing don't do one in Who doesn't know IPOB? If you want to become popular, you must mention IPOB. If you want to become relevant, you must mouth IPOB. If you want to be noticed, you must mention Nam the Colonel. If you don't mention IPOB or Nam the Colonel or Biafra, you are nobody. That is how formidable we are. That is how immense we are. That is how important we are. And we owe all of that to the mercy and the grace of the Most High. Indivisible, eternal. Ancient of days. That is why we submit ourselves reverently before the throne of the Most High in heaven. Go and ask people to listen because after tonight you will be tutored and you will be lectured. Your lives can no longer be the same. I assure you. That the zoo has crumbled, the zoo has fallen. Our enemies will try all they can. They will try to frustrate, they will try to subdue, they will try to malign, they will try to impugn. They will do all they can. As we have recently noticed, to see if they can slow us down, but they cannot. We are unstoppable. They call it arrogance. I call it no, it is confidence because we know where we're going. They call it pride and we say to them no. It is because we know our onions, because we understand where we are going and we cannot be deflected. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how many people you hire. It doesn't matter the plan you set before us. We are IPOB, indigenous people of Bia, the largest mass movement in the whole world. The largest in the whole, on this planet Earth, the largest in the whole world. By none. Who can stop us? They have not given birth to you. You don't exist. That is why they say we are arrogant. We are on star and we will crop the, the zoo is dead, of course it's dead. Today we're exposing for the for the whole world to know. Let's first of all give glory to whom glory is due. We must give honor to heaven, Chukokikabiama. Because what God has done for us is immeasurable. Immeasurable, I'm telling you, imme if it is you, it cannot be quantified. Never. The grace of God is upon us, and that is why we proudly proclaim it every day, unashamedly. People can be as atheistic as they want to be. People can choose to worship idol. That is their business. People can choose to worship a graven image. That is their business. It's nothing to do with us. As for us, only one God in heaven indivisible. The same God that Jesus Christ prayed to. The same God that Moses called upon. The same God that every faith, every religion calls upon. That one God is the one we worship. And in heaven, the angels are calling him Chuku Kikabiyama. Obasisuye Li, we are most pray in the language of heaven. Because tonight is very special. And I'm sure and I do hope that you have come prepared. We are live and we are direct 
and the whole world is listening. It is not pre-recorded. It has it is not it hasn't been generated using a deep fake technology. We've exposed all of that. That is why they can no longer speak. Can you go I want to call upon heaven. Because as we pray, the angels are right now surrounding the throne of grace of the most high. Praying and bowing down before God. They say to God, you are holy. Thou art holy. The Moses in a chile chete in song. Now I'm so that you go for them. Oh, where's the young music? Can you wear the young dental? Oh, where's your mother? Chile chete na kani ne ziani we ne ku we ne ku si ke na choni wani na chile chete na kebi ni we. Ani amani kai kesi we jange mo buso ya na kai kesi we togi. Ni hi na madu dental apu ge wata. What on can mother didn't have you me? Where carry up can get you in and keep her in your melee way? I wear nas and open an egg buchine can and kusumile can be a god of all the hosts of heaven. On young women, on young women, and your better. And you bring again a low. And you book it again and keep her in your way. Whoa, but don't be afraid, does he? I wear the Moses who says he's the end of the end. No one can give you that kind of kick up on your person to pass your body. No one can do that. No one can take on that woman. No one can walk in that way. No one can do that. 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 No one no, we go on this. Let me hold up for Egypt. Where we go, we go more in the south. We are in Israel. And you are not yogi. We are not here to go. We are not here to get away. Got it? Now, did you go more in the north? Keep up with the Ngozi. So we are so put on Israel. No, we are in Egypt. We are not here to go. No, we are not here to go. Guess where we are going to be after? Na kia wachitiri ni kwa nsubo wako do zoo, Nigeria. Chine kena dengosi. Onye muona madu nefe. Onye bube ya rasa chiri nyeni nenke yonwa ya kereke. Chine kena kendi wo. Onye ne wage malite mani vangon kuku. Nyeni ni kereke na pokwa ni isi ala nyegi. Unwagi ye madi dendu buniru ki nanki bwe bikonu. Unye na bagara mehe. Unye jendro madu no badara kaya. Unye kaya ni nene wagato. Obo zodi anyaka ni kesi we kwisi ala nyegi. Ni hini nye ni nanki anyo wanye bobo site na maragi nebele gengo siga maragi no miko ki. Unye mwembi ni bwe biko mengwa mwa ki we zopo tandegi. Biano kiwe bora nyobo, biano so so kiwe biya gira nyaka, biya kwa le kahara bundilo, biya kwa kale na kebere, ndi ni ne bundi bora nyokri kri we na tia nyochi, we ne suani mi, ti he ne ha gaputi he. O bagara ne lua bagara ke gato kwa sahanisi. Ni nandi te tuwa. Bundi ne bonye buboga. Bundi kunirinu. Nanke bre de ngosi. We na sinesu mi kate gri mburo biya nini me china kena. Mananye mananka bo kuasi. Bia kwa ki we chuka ki jindi te tuwa asu. Ko gwono hawe buri hene ko we ha. Ni hina biafra ka dole ni bebi we ni me liwe. Nanke bre de ngosi. Ki yere ndi diye tuwa awe puti ye. No obi utanyi no bo chinketa. Nanyo wanyi bundi weze honanya. Bundi wo obi uto. No obi anguri ni meye. Anyi we nasi nani ge buli ge lu chine ken nanki. Anyi ge buli ge lu wano tuwenye. Anyi ge buli ge lu chine ken nanku mo bonye. Bonye na loranyo ku. Bonye ne puranyi hu ne puranyi na zon. Onye nanyi na kani na kepe. Chine ken nanki kwe lene nanyi bu mo bonye. Onwe yi hanyi bu niru. Ma piano se so ki we so potande ye.
Ni ye nabo nane ye bonye nye maka abo nane ye bonye nzopo ta nane ye bochine ke no nyanyi janyi isi. Anye mo iki kere obo la. Obo nane ye kanyine fe we na isi ala nye biko na tifukwa la mbe. Danu ki we nzopo ta biafra. Nye no mo ga ma mi hema nye hezi. Gwata na obo kwa ni meko ta wane na wane kanyi na to mo gende o zanya pa guna nki we biko nu. Go si anyo zoge. Ki ilu ki we chane banyi no. Ko wanine we ba ke bege hona nye ye mamma gine bere ye bende ye no. Kawe sinezi enezi eno mo bia fa bu mu chineke ogu chali hanye na cho mo gi ho zo na nki gwe bi konu na rotuto na ran soporo na re jamma wan no tu onye ti te ne bi gedu ma ro ne bi gedu ise 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 i was in the spirit i had to get into the spirit that i may be able to see can we hear a kuzrim ni memo? I speak the very oldest language on the face of the earth, the Igbo language, the language of the ancients, the language of heaven itself. We have come that heaven may bear us witness, and this evening, rather unorthodoxly, there is a way we are going to start. Pay very close attention because you are about to witness revelation this evening. You must bring your pen and your paper with you. If you do not have it, you are going to miss quite a lot. You must pay very close attention to this very gospel as I preach it this evening. Or should I say, as I have been mandated by heaven to preach it. I receive my instructions direct from heaven. That is why everything I say must come to pass. Everything I proclaim must come to pass. Once I speak it, it must happen. Because darkness is wasting its time. Darkness doesn't exist. Do you know that? Darkness is only the absence of light. Once there is light, darkness will flee. Do you see where we derive our strength from? In the knowledge of the revelation that darkness does not exist. In nature, there is nothing called darkness. It is only your fear that will allow darkness to overtake you. Once you are strong and you radiate light, darkness will flee. I have a lot to get through. Please do bear with me. We shall patiently go through all these things one after the other. But I crave your indulgence. I want you to be very attentive, to listen attentively. That is why sometimes I don't broadcast a video. Because when you broadcast via an audio means alone, it allows people to conceptualize. It allows them to reason very deeply. It allows them to begin to compartmentalize ideas and to put them into context within themselves without any visual reference. Very, very critical. My mothers are listening. I need to caution myself to take it easy. Listen carefully, please. This evening, we are starting with two things. One is a letter written by an emissary of the Vatican to the USA. His name is Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano. He wrote a very powerful letter to Donald Trump. And you'll be asking yourself, what has this letter got to do with what we are doing this evening? It's very, very, it's going to, you know me, I build a case around the foundation. That is why we are infallible. That is why anything we proclaim, anything we say, has a historical base and reference. It can easily be referenced. Listen very carefully, please. A letter from the Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano. He sent a letter to Trump. He was warning Trump about the current crisis all over the world, the coronavirus pandemic, all the riots about George Floyd, the black man, tragically killed by a racist police officer. And do you know what this Archbishop said? 
not minding all these things and how bad they are, that Trump is under siege. I want IPOB to understand the same thing. I want to let IPOB and all lovers of freedom Including those in Yoruba land, there are good people. Fela, Fela, Nicola, and Nicola Pokuti. May his soul rest in peace. He's a man that I revere. I didn't say I rest. I said I revere him. Before I came on air today, I heard something that I never thought possible in my life. The daughter of Abiola was on television interviewing a Janjaweed, Funtua. That's his name. He made his money by stealing. He was an MPN. He's a rogue. He's a thief. I know him very well. One of the cabals now running the zoo. The, the Kaduna Mafia that later metamorphosed into the Fulani Mafia. Or should I say the Fulani Cabal. They interviewed him. Do you know what Abiola's daughter said? I never in my life thought that there are Yoruba people who can actually reason the way she did. She said to Isa Funtua, do you know that my father had to compensate the Yorubas for the death of my father? That was what she said. To compensate the Yorubas for the death of my father, the Yorubas were given presidency. Why don't you do the same thing to the Igbos? I was, I, I said, are you sure she's Yoruba? I wasn't very sure until the Janjaweed was responding to her. And the Janjaweed said, your father, that was what I knew, that was Abiola's daughter. I said, are you sure she's uh, Yoruba? But it turned out that she is. So there are good people that also represent the light within Yoruba land. Albeit that the evil ones are overshadowing them. That is the essence of these very fundamental base I want to cast this evening as we proceed on this epic. I call it an epic broadcast. You must listen attentively and pick every word that I utter. It will lead you into the light and into freedom. I want to tell you that everything that is happening now is because Biafra is very close. So all the entities of darkness, all the they are converging. They are unleashing everything they can to see if we can be stopped or slowed down. But they have now realized that we are unstoppable. And that is their frustration. And you'll be wondering, but why, what, what, all the things I'm talking about Biafra, what has it got to do with a letter written by an archbishop to Trump? Now, let me reveal it to you. Archbishop was writing about coronavirus, the pandemic, and George Floyd riots. He said that what we are witnessing now as an, is an eternal spiritual struggle between the forces of good and that of evil, the same thing that is happening with Biafra. And it's a very good thing that all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Hausa, Kanuri, Gagi, Ibirao, uh, Bachama, uh, Jukun, name it. Everybody now knows that Biafra meant well. I'm using the word meant, past tense. To refer to 67, 70. Now they now they are now being, everybody now knows that Biafra meant well for them. And even today, in this contemporary time that we live in, that Biafra means well for everybody. Now they know that Biafra means well for everybody. Do you know what, what has been happening over the years? According to this archbishop, the struggle that Biafra was facing was not only physical but also spiritual. There are those who inhabit the realm of darkness. Their job is to make sure that light never shines. As I was going through this letter, I was astonished. I couldn't believe it. And as Elohim will always watch you go to Kabe Before I came on air, I received a press statement from Asorok. This is, it is so fortuitous, it's unbelievable. For Twitter's please, it, those who are writing, you must reference me correctly. This is so, so, it is so, it is so, it is incredible. Before we came on air, there was a space statement released by Asorok, tying into everything that I'm, I was about to actually preach about this evening, starting from this very letter. Do you know what the Archbishop said? 
he is encouraging Trump. Listen, the same way I'm encouraging IPOB and all good people, those with the spirit of Fela in Yoruba land, that Abiola's daughter, I don't know her name, I'll try and find her name. There are good people like that. Those in the mold of Paya de Banjo, those who don't change. Not those who will blow hot in the morning, in the evening they are as cold as, um, as ice water. No. Consistency is the key. It doesn't, the enemies will come. Don't see any verbal personal attack or whatever. I said, they are, they are, if not, that means you're not doing anything. If nobody is chasing you to arrest you, that means you're not a freedom fighter. If nobody is trying to stop what you're doing, that means that what you're doing is not effective. Do you know what Judge Bishop said? Trump continued to fight the fight. You know what he said? On behalf of the children of light. That was what got me. The same thing I have been preaching for nearly 10 years. The children of light. I said to you, wherever you go in the world, wherever you have blessed children of light, darkness will come. The forces of evil will come. And do you know the funniest thing? Darkness and evil are not very strong. All you need to do as light is to summon the courage to produce the necessary energy to be able to bring your light to shine. Once your light shines, evil will flee. Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano said to Trump, continue your fight on behalf of the children, in quote, children of light. The same thing I've been preaching to you from day one. Now we proceed. But before I do so, I want to also situate this whole Floyd business on George Floyd. Very sad he died. I want to play what fella said many, many years ago about the hypocrisy of the then Nigerian government saying they are fighting apartheid. I want to play it for you. Very briefly, so you can understand that hypocrisy. Anybody who is upright in life can never be a hypocrite. You don't follow the crowd for the sake of it. You must find reason to follow that very crowd. There must be a reason. Do you see why I revere fella? Consistency, it does not matter. Fela was a crusader. Fela said that evil is evil. Good is good. It doesn't matter if that evil is in South Africa, whites against blacks. It doesn't matter where it is. If you cannot condemn what is happening in Nigeria, you cannot condemn what apartheid is doing to blacks in South Africa. I want to play it very briefly for you. We are just weaving, should I say, the fundamentals together of tonight. I said there has never been a program like this before. Heaven gave me a message to preach. There, there will never be one like this ever again. I'm telling you the truth. Listen attentively. Listen attentively. And learn. This is fella. A Yoruba man, mind you. You see, South Africa is better than Nigeria. South Africa is better than Nigeria. I know so. I know so. No, but look. We are saying whites are mistreating black. <laughs> Whites are mistreating black. That's what fella is saying many years ago. I want you to ask you, ask you, as I'm analyzing this thing for you, think about this man that was killed, tragically, George Floyd, and the outpouring of grief all over the world. White people are protesting. Remember many years ago, I told you that there is one thing about white people. No, you can accuse them of anything in life, but at least they have conscience. That was why God loved them and gave them the grace. And the America you see today, the Australia you see today, the New Zealand you see today, in other words, the conscience of humanity came from England, came from Britain, as bad as Britain was. Still, God gave them the grace that through them, the greatest civilization will emerge, which is USA, which for your information is the longest running civilization in the history of mankind everyone collapsed this this very one now being spearheaded by usa is the longest running course of human civilization since history began what am i trying to say fella said 
People are dying on the streets of Lagos. Army brutality, police brutality, you don't want to discuss it. You're talking about apartheid in South Africa. The same thing with this George Floyd case. As sad as it is that George Floyd died at the hands of very uncultured beasts. That is not the reason for you to neglect what is happening in your home. Nobody has ever come out in mass to protest the killings by Fulani terrorists. No one. Families massacred. Lives lost. Villages overrun. Nobody came out in Africa to protest. Police killing honest innocent. I tweeted it. No one protested. But do you know one funniest thing? A white man killed a black man in America and white people in America are protesting. Whites in Europe are protesting. What does that tell you about a white person? Do you now see why God loves them? Do you know? Do you now see why God gave them the, the common sense, the understanding to go to the moon, to build aircrafts, to build rockets, to have uninterrupted power supply, to have good roads? I need, to, I need Africans to understand this. And I want Nigerians to understand this. That how good you are on the inside corresponds to the blessing you will get from God. I know some people will say, oh, but how about China? They are not very good people. They are very wicked. Yes, they are very wicked. We know that for sure. But everything that everybody else became came from United States of America. And before that, from Britain. Why do you think that Britain was the first industrialized nation in the world? Although Britain was involved in slavery, I saw the statue of the slave trader destroyed in Bristol. The man was involved in slavery. Today, they destroyed his statue in Bristol. Whites destroyed his statue. But in Nigeria, you have somebody that still named the stadium in Kanu after Abacha. Despite his brutality. That is the difference between white people and black people. And that is what this my, my man is saying, fella. Do you see why I love people who are consistent? Do you see why I love fella as a man? Let's listen. Okay, that is bad. Listen. That is racism. We have a reason. To racism is bad. The blacks are mistreating blacks in Nigeria. What's the reason? That's worse. Police beat people on the streets like dogs. They do. They don't. I mean, in South Africa... I mean, they do it, but they know they face public. Listen, police beat and kill people on the streets of Nigeria every blessed day. And as a matter of fact, in all over Africa, other African cities, people are dying at the hands of black, black police officers, black army officers. Even then in South Africa, as apartheid was raging, whites against blacks, there were white people that campaigned vigorously against apartheid. But you are in Nigeria, where IPOB did nothing to you. All they are doing is to bring freedom for everybody, arguing and agitating for freedom, which on its own, on its own is not a crime. All of you kept quiet. Some of you wicked souls, we are writing and cheering the army as they were slaughtering unarmed people. That is, that is to show how evil and wicked you are as a black person. And now you can understand why you don't have any good roads, why you don't have good hospitals, why you don't have good schools, because you are the embodiment of wickedness. And you need to repent and change from it. That is the essence of our program this evening. Fella, please. Um, public uh, criticism. So they... They watch themselves to do it, but in Nigeria, they say Nigeria is against apartheid. Nigeria is this, Nigeria is a good. Uh, in America, talks about Nigeria that, uh, like Nigeria is the greatest African country. Greatest African country. But Nigeria is the worst African country. We have the worst. The worst, even then, Fela was saying that Nigeria was bad. The worst African country. I'm a proud Nigerian. I'm in America. Uh, Nigeria is a giant of Africa. But it, it is all fake. All lies. This man held his ground over the years. He never changed consistency. 
Consistency never changed. Pharaoh was the same person. Never changed for anybody. He was on the side of the truth. These are the people that I respect. These are the people that I revere. These are those we honor. Now you understand how we flow. You know our philosophy? Now let me go into the letter itself. I believe that the base has come up enough. Let's start weaving and constructing on top of it this very evening. This very bishop wrote, in recent, Dear Mr. President, in recent months, we have been witnessing the formation of two opposing sides that I would call biblical. The children of light and the children of darkness. I couldn't believe it exactly what is happening in the zoo called Nigeria between Biafra and those who love servitude and slavery. Biafra represents freedom. I said freedom for everybody. Freedom for all. A confederation. Go to your ethnic group and organize yourselves the best way you know how before the white man came. Use the resources in your land to develop your to, to your fullest potential. Now, do you understand it? There is a war going on. You may not see it. You may not understand it between the children of light and the children of darkness. You must understand this. If you don't understand it, you remain blind. Who are the children of darkness? Those that come to you and tell you, oh, Biafra is not possible. Uh, what are you talking about? Why not one Nigeria? Who are the children of darkness? They are your pastors in the, uh, should I call them, um, in, in, in Pentecostalism. That's about one Nigeria. Anybody who says to you, pray for one Nigeria, that person automatically becomes Comes a child of perdition, a child of darkness, a product of Lucifer. They want you to be held down in perpetual slavery. They want to hold you down in bondage. I am saying this with every clarity of mind you can ever imagine. It is here. It's your Gucci Naka. In recent months, we have been witnessing this battle between the zoo called Nigeria. These children of light that is in Biafra, we have been fighting darkness in full army since 1967. Dark, total darkness. That is why no good roads, no good schools, no hospitals, because you are in darkness. Now the children of light that is Biafra, we've been pulling you, telling you there are better ways to do all these things. Go back to your house. Go back to your villages. Build it. Make it look great. And the forces of darkness have been prevailing until we came, or should I say, until Chukwokika Biyama determined that we should come. Listen, the children of light constitute the most conspicuous part of humanity. We are the greatest. The, the bishop is saying that we are greater in number than the forces of darkness. And ask me how, and I'll even prove it with the case of the zoo called Nigeria. How many are the Fulanese oppressing all of you? They are not up to 30 million. All the Fulanese are not up to 30 million. Do you know what the bishop said? The bishop said, listen very carefully. He's the bishop actually, please. He said, do you know what is very funny? That in nature itself, that the children of light outnumber the children of darkness. That darkness in them is in the minority. Do you know if you go to your house now, or those of you that go and switch on the light bulb. It's dark in Biafra land. Go and switch off the light, light bulb. What will happen? Darkness from nowhere will come. Isn't it? From, from earth, dark, you see darkness immediately. Switch on the light again. There will be no darkness. And as long as that light is on, listen carefully, as long as that light is on, darkness can never come. Darkness only exists when there is an absence of light. As long as your light bulb is on in your room, darkness can never come. Forever and ever. That is how God made this world. That's how it is. We outnumber them. 
we have more resilience than them. But for you to switch on that light, for that bulb to be on, it requires energy. Maybe the dam needs to be running. Maybe the gen needs to be running. Maybe you need to put petrol in it. That is what we are putting in every day. That is the effort we make every day. In other words, for you to allow the lights to continue shining, you cannot afford to be lazy. But, funniest thing is, darkness is very lazy. And it looks for lazy people and eats them up. Now, let's say you switch on your light bulb. And the petrol in the generator finishes. Darkness will come, isn't it? If you are too lazy, if you are too lazy to go and put petrol in the generator, what happens? That darkness remains. Until you get up from your bed or your couch or your city to do something about it, darkness remains. It will stay there, it won't go away. But any time you replenish the generator or the power generating plant decides to switch on the light, what happens? That same second, darkness will flee. Once that is light, no more that, that darkness is gone. That is why, it, as strange as it may sound, darkness is not a natural phenomenon because it's from the devil, from Lucifer. It is not. That is why it cannot stay on its own because it will, if there is light for you to bring darkness to cover, it is almost impossible. You can't. Can you cover the sun? Of course you cannot. Now you understand. And very soon now, we are at 12.7K on Facebook, which of course is even a suppressed number because they wrote a special algorithm for us. But I can assure you, before I get to the really juicy part of this broadcast, they'll push us down to maybe 5,000, but it doesn't matter. People are listening all over the world, on, on YouTube, on every app that is known to man. We are on satellite, and we are also on FM. So it doesn't matter what they do. Now we continue. Do you know what they said? They said these forces of darkness, like the Clintons and all the rest of them, they hold strategic positions in government. They are in politics. They are in the economy. And they're also in the media, like Channels TV. It, that devil is everywhere. It's everywhere. This is a letter written by an archbishop to Trump that I'm using to form the base of our program this very evening. Do you know what happens? On the other hand, these very two opposing forces, they have a biblical nature. They follow the clear separation between the offspring of a woman and the offspring of the serpent. Abo, snake. There is a difference between a man born by a woman and a man born by a serpent. Or those led by vultures. Do you know that the Fulanese only managed to leave the foothills of the Futajalon when the vulture arrived? Ute Udele. Vulture led them out of the foothills of Futajalon. Are you aware of that? The Fulanese. If they have an emblem, it will be a vulture. Udele. Are you aware of that? <laughs> you people, you don't, there are many things that a lot of people don't know. A lot, but I will teach you here. Or oh, Elohim will teach you through me, not me. There are those who, although they have a thousand defects and weaknesses, are motivated by the desire to do good. Are you following IPOB? Listen carefully, let me repeat. This Archbishop, Roman Catholic Archbishop, he said, although they have a thousand defects and weaknesses, they don't have to be perfect. They don't, you don't have to be. You don't have to be. As long as you are motivated, your driving force every day, that light in you shining is motivated by a desire to do good, to love one another, to be honest which is what we are doing here. To raise a family, which is what all of us are doing. To engage in work, honest work. To give prosperity to their homeland. Uh, those in, uh, in Lagos, are you listening? And to help those who cannot help themselves, the needy, and obedience to the Lord of God. Hey, Chukwege Kapi Are you listening? Are you listening? On the other hand, there are those who serve themselves, those who are world contracts to their family members. The Kiyadis, they are in NMPC. The Buharis, they are in NMPC. Everywhere, sovereign wealth fund. Fulani. Alemajiri. Those who say Janjaweed. 
Because Salamajiri is actually a small, a small house. Janja Buddhism is what belongs to the Fulani. They serve themselves. They have no moral principles. They want to demolish families, as they are doing now right now in the zoo. This is a letter unconnected to Biafra land, unconnected to Nigeria. But do you see how it is resonating with everything happening? Because this peace is timeless. It is eternal. It's like the scripture. Now listen, please. They are, these are the people that serve themselves. You know what they do? They ferment internal divisions. I, I need to... Uh, I don't know if Roman Catholic be Archbishop if they drink uh, uh, Tombo. I need to buy him per wine. This man that wrote this. You know the same thing that the Fulanese are doing. Divide and rule. They come to us and they divide you. They give you some money. Some of you maybe to buy a phone, to buy a laptop, to come and divide the IPOB family to make the world feel that the struggle for Biafra is multifaceted and beset with problems when that is not the case. All of this nonsense that you do. Some idiots um, speaking from here and there, from both sides of the mouth when they are hungry, yapping as usual, mouthing their rubbish, thinking their fellow Janjaweed will come and save them when the time comes. Of course, we know it's not possible. Giving you the impression that there is internal division. Full and they ferment wars. And they accumulate power and money. Their war chest is $22 billion. Isa Fontua knows this. He knows this very well. And to them, the fallacious illusion of temporal well-being just to eat and own houses in Dubai is what they crave for all their lives. That's all they do. As Lugard said many years ago about the Fulani, that they are carefree, they don't, oh, they, they just want to have fun. Borrow and have fun. What Lugard wrote, Lugard wrote this in, in the last century, earliest part of the last century. Can you believe it? After over a hundred years, the same thing that a white man saw and wrote about the Fulani is what they're doing. Accumulate money. <laughs> Wealth. They want power by all means. Oh, no relation. No evil man can be president. He's our turn in the north. That's all they know what to do. Exactly as this man said, that was how this archbishop described the children of darkness, not me. An archbishop, a Roman Catholic archbishop, this was how he described the children of darkness. And I brought it home to Biafra land and to the zoo. And who are the people that want power at all costs? They accumulate money. They also divide people. As they're doing now, I saw a piece before I came on air. Eh? Some idiot from a BB are saying, if you be have nothing in common with, with Hebrew. And nobody man, told him about Tokonko. And they, but, he, but he's an intellectual, you know. Mind you, that, those are the fools they raise in this. They start insulting people a lot. I should stop insulting them. If you are like fella, or as I read today, Abiola's daughter, I will respect you. And I will revere you. I will honor you. I will praise you. But if you're like that man that they paid some money in Abuja to write rubbish and that to, basically to rewrite history, he doesn't know the man writing about the Bibio, claiming he's an Ibibio man, does not know the meaning of the word the Bibio. He has no idea. He doesn't know who Aliyu Ekine is. He doesn't know. It was an Edibio man that met me in London in the year 1998 at Waterloo Station. Dr. Ali Wekine, the daughter is Soraki. Go and Google her. Soraki S O R A K I. Soraki Ekine. Go and Google her. The Edibio from Akwaibom. The father worked for Gowon. The man begged me. You know, everything that I do in life, I have a witness. I always have a witness. There was a man, a retired London police officer, Chukudumi Kazo. Chukudumi Kazo took me to go and see Dr. Ali Wekine 
an Ibibio man. He is an Ibibio man. He was begging me, saying, do everything you can to restore Biafra. I was a fool. If you ask Soraki, Ekinem, she will tell you, my father's greatest wish in life is was to see Biafra. Ibibio man. Learn it. Learn it. You have one fool in Abuja. They gave him money. said, oh, there is nothing, nothing, not the happen. Do you know? You are in Abuja. How can you be in Okonko? In a from Abuja? Do they have Okonko in Babalada? Or in Ashokuro? Do they have Ebedaz in, in Ashokuro? So you don't know. You were born outside. That was why I said everybody must go back to where they come from to develop it. You were born outside. The only thing tying you to Biafra land, to Ibibio, is just your name. You know nothing about our culture. You travel from Abuja, maybe you go to London, you go to New York, and you come back, you stop over in Lagos. You know nothing about the village. When you come, you come to a village on the 24th of December, and you go back to Abuja on the 3rd of January. You know nothing. You are not in any of the fraternities. You know nothing about Hebe. You don't know about Hebe. You know nothing about Okonko. And you claim you're from Ibibio. Can't you see how useless your life is? With I've, I've, all that nonsense you wrote for nearly two weeks, only five sentences, and you go back to the drawing board and see how foolish you are. The meaning of the word Bibio means Ibunta. Junior Ibo, that's the meaning of the word Ibibio. If you don't know, you claim you're from Ibibio, you don't know the meaning of your own name. What a shame. And you're busy. And funny enough, uh, uh, Premium Times tried it. Every zoo paper carried it. These are the people that this Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano is talking about. That the children of darkness are everywhere, even in the media. I told you tonight will not be like any other. Didn't I tell you? We must continue. We have to continue. We need to continue. And now, and now, let me tell you to complete this whole thing. I saw this very press statement. Powerful sent it to me before I came on air. It is a, it's called State House Press Release. From their so-called presidency, you know, without president. Presidency without vice president. Listen carefully, please. Let me read for you what Nigerian government I shouted before I came on air. State House Press Release. IPOB self-proclaimed Jews using Christianity to wage war against the Nigerian state. That's the headline of the press release. What did they say about children of darkness? They divide. They said Jews claiming they are saving Christians. Understand this. Now I want to educate everybody who is listening, especially Nigerians, that Judaism is the mother of all religions. That depends on the book. The people of the book. Judaism. Moshe. That is Moses in the Bible. Lay the groundwork for uh, Apostolic Church, Anglican Church, Roman Catholic Church, uh, uh, Church of God of Latter Day, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, or whatever they call it, Assemblies of God, uh, uh, Christ Embassy, uh, even this is, uh, Satan's Embassy. All this, everything that you go to, every church you go to, you owe it to Judaism. Judaism is the granddaddy of everybody. Everybody. Judaism is the pinnacle. Started it. Before they were called Judeo Christians. Because everything that Christians refer to in the New Testament, they got from the Old Testament. The Torah and the books of the prophets. Isn't it? Without Judaism, there will be no Christianity. Without Christianity, there will be no Islam. Islam copied Christianity. In fact, Islam is the carbon copy of Roman Catholicism. The revelation that uh, Prophet Muhammad saw was from Angel Gabriel. The revelation received by Moses at the place of the burning bush is from God himself. God said, I am that I am. When Moses said to God, who do I tell them? sent me, said, tell them that I am that I am sent you. If you ask Muhammad who sent you, Muhammad will tell you Angel Gabriel saw him. And who created Angel Gabriel if not God in heaven? Are you following? Everybody, regardless of who you are, 
you are a Jew. Both Islam, both Christianity, you are a Jew. The same thing that within Christendom, everybody is a Catholic. There is a creed that used to be said in Anglican church when we are small. We pledge allegiance to the Catholic church. The creed, go to any Anglican church and look at the creed. It's called Catholicism. Catholic creed. That's what it's called. That umbilical cord can never be broken. Do you understand it? Everybody is a Jew, including Prophet Muhammad. He's a Jew. Coming from Judaism, came to the temple of God in Jerusalem. We had a built the dome on the rock. That centerpiece of Jerusalem. The dome on the rock. In reverence to Judaism, Prophet Muhammad left Arabia to come to pay homage. To the God of Israel. And inside that very temple of the God of Israel, they built the Al Aska Mosque. Inside that same temple of Solomon in Jerusalem, rebuilt by King Herod, all the Christians of Europe fought many wars for many years to go there to receive legitimacy. Without Judaism, there will be no Christianity. Without Christianity, there will be no Islam. All this nonsensical garbage, people, are, is because they want to better themselves at the expense of knowledge. Do you understand? Look at what the Muslims pray with. Is it not chaplet? Look at it. That thing they pray with. Is it not chaplet? Look at the way the women dress. Is it not the same way that the Catholic women dress? Is it not the same way I'm asking? Prophet Muhammad's first wife was a Roman Catholic sister. So you don't know that Muhammad married a Christian, a Roman Catholic? So you're not aware? And they will come to distract you. They are the children of darkness. That is their job, to take you away from the path that will lead you into light, into darkness. That is what Nigerian media have been doing, because they represent darkness. That is why nothing is moving in the zoo called Nigeria, because all of them are in it together. Children of perdition, children of darkness and we are in constant battle with them because we represent the light that's what the bishop said let me read what they say wrote from the presidency they want to divide us by telling you oh, it's judaism um, they can't practice in judaism ipv judaism therefore they rubbish without judaism no christianity every uh, almost every gospel in the in the holy book made reference to the book of Psalm in the Old Testament. What is Judaism? Old Testament. What is Christianity? New Testament. That's all. Combine them till it becomes a Bible. Isn't it? So that now you see how divisive the Fulani are. They want to divide us. You know, you know, I was telling you, oh, if you're a Christian, oh, don't mind them all. They are practicing Judaism so they cannot fight for you. So the people now, I'm sure, uh, George Lloyd, that died in America, or Lloyd George. So people fighting for him are people that went to Black Episcopal Church in America, or Black Pentecostal Church. So people campaigning for him in Norway, in Denmark, they go to his church. Do you see how a black man reasons in Africa? Now, instead of you to say, oh, IPOB is fighting for me, I am a Christian in Southern Kaduna, they want you to think that only a Christian can fight for a Christian. Do you see how do you see how divisive they are? I will continue. IPOB self-proclaimed Jews that we are self-proclaimed. We are all Jews. Everybody is. You are. Everybody is. Once you believe in one God, one indivisible God in heaven, you are a Jew. One God, because the person that received that revelation is Moshe. The only person that was good, only one, he said, who says, I am that I am? Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I have no name that man can pronounce. If you believe in one God, we call him Chuku, Chuku Kika Biyama, the supreme God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Through his work, we know him. Abiyama, I come close, you know him. All of you are Jews, everybody is, for your information. The night people who didn't go to school, talking, writing rubbish every day.
Oh man, by practicing Judaism, we are the original seed, the original, original from the beginning. Forget the nonsense the Europeans gave you. Because here we speak the truth. Always. If if Judaism is not number one, why did Europeans fight for a hundred years to get into Jerusalem? If Judaism is not number one, why did every why is it that Muslims said they will die rather than give up a place that is not their own? They have two mosques on the Temple Mount, on the Temple of, of Solomon. They are claiming something. So if Judaism is not important, why are Muslims willing to cost a third world war because of it? Simple question. If Judaism is not important, why did you have the night, the night Templars in Europe for nearly 700 years? Because Judaism is number one. Number one. Original. Number one. That our ancestors used to worship. Number one. If you don't know, let me tell you. This is the press statement from the presidency. The presidency wishes to draw the attention of all citizens and the international community to a most misleading campaign spearheaded by the so-called indigenous people of Biafra using false allegations of persecution of Christians against the Nigerian state. Are you listening? They did not mention the Upper Niger Congress. They didn't mention any other group, nobody. Only IPUB. How can you can you hearing it from the presidency? Do you know why they are complaining? Because tomorrow now, one idiot will come and say, Oh, it's just I did it. I was in Washington. But I've been telling you from day one, there are some diplomatic moves we are making that the eyes cannot see. I have no call. That very soon you will see it, and this is the result. The world is now calling them every day, saying, What are you doing? This is what IPOP is telling us. And now they are responding, telling the international community that the so called are no longer proscribed. Can you see how all of a sudden IPOB is no longer a terrorist group to them? Before, that person who will say the, the proscribed, uh, 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 no, uh, the, the terrorist and proscribed illegal, illegitimate IPOB, all that is gone. It's all, it down belongs to the past. What he's now saying is um, the so called indigenous people of Biafra using false allegations of persecution of Christians against the Nigerian state. A very deep... The, the, uh, please, can Amaka, please release the press release. They put it everywhere. Powerful, send it to Amaka. So they can put it everywhere. So they can read it yourself. A very deep and wide investigation by an agency of the Nigerian government working with international partners have made us become aware that there are two interconnected campaigns being run concurrently by Omu Chinek, a children of light IPO being disregard. And the Hanon, that's why the zoo is collapsing. It's, it's gone, completely gone. People play with IPOB at the peril. You don't know who we are. We destroyed Nigeria. Talk less of a uh, nice security guard. <laughs> Somebody said to me once, I am used to counting in millions. So what is thousands to me? We bring down people that think they cannot be brought down. We destroy the Buhari. We destroy the Bakiari. And I share on the wrong. Where is Buratai? We destroy the people who are men. Talk to somebody, God. In the night, we will touch tonight about Checking the pipe to see if there's any leakage of kerosene. You want IPOB to remember you, to talk about you, so they can give you more money. <laughs> okay, okay. It's only a pin. If you want to deflate a balloon, you don't use a sledgehammer. You don't use a rod. You don't use a plank. It's not that tiny pin. You can't see it. You put it on the bell of boom. Oh, I'm Easy. Put talking about me. You see, this is how who we are. This is how formidable we are. Any Jesus, a boy, we are holding them in a bad place. We have no time for idiots. Your distractions have no time for it. Our eyes are on the juggler. I will decapitate Nigeria. I will destroy Nigeria completely. As a complete destruction, I said, I let me rephrase. I said, by the time I finish with Nigeria, 
the name Nigeria won't exist. They removed Biafra from history textbooks and geography. By the time Anam the Kano is done with Nigeria. Back is up. The name Nigeria will no longer exist. The zoo is finished. Asura went on to say that that IPOB is using the cover of Christianity and calling for a U.S. special envoy. IPOB is calling for a U.S. special envoy. Not any other person. Not any other group of people. I in, oh, man. Hey, you people in IPOB, you don't know how you don't know who you are. You don't know the waves you're making all over the world. You don't know how strong you are. You have no idea. You have no idea how powerful you you have no clue. You are being discussed in every government. Even do you know the funniest thing? Even in the midst of COVID-19, you know when to put out the car Biama. Set us up to go and fight this battle. Do you know what God said to me? I will make this journey very, very hard for you. And those that I will bring. He didn't say your followers. I don't have followers. Elohim said to me, Chukuka I said, those I will bring. I will make it very difficult for you people. You are fighting this battle when people have lost faith and belief. That honest men can come up. But I'm going to send you. Anything I ask you to do is what you're going to do. And I will keep you safe from your enemies. Are you following? Are you seeing what they're saying? It is IPOB. Even in the midst of pandemic in the whole world. Everything is COVID-19. COVID do you know that even in the midst of global pandemic... Governments of the world still find time to discuss IPOB with, with Nigeria and the killing of Christians. According to Asorok, not anybody, according to Asorok, they said that their partners have told them that they are under siege because of IPOB. Everybody, if you're a southern Kaduna, if you're a Christian in Sokoto, if you're a Christian in Bauchi, a Christian in Medukri, a Christian in Taraba, a Christian everywhere across the zoo, According to Asorok, it is IPOB that is fighting for you. That's the meaning of this press statement. It's no longer in dispute. <laughs> Those in Upper Imo River, <laughs> Lower Imo River, Middle of um, Benue River, Wokoko. <laughs> Can you see it? From Asorok. That is why they are jealous. <laughs> but who won't be jealous of one? Why won't you be jealous? If you're in a movement as successful as IPOB, the largest movement in the whole world, why won't people be jealous of you? Why won't, why won't people be jealous? I'm asking you. So it's you something to be proud of. When people talk rubbish, you should carry yourself with pride and honor. Because you're making, even in the midst of a global pandemic, that is to show you how potent we, how st we are stronger than COVID-19. Because in the midst of COVID-19, they are discussing IPOB. How IPOB is fighting to save Christians in Nigeria. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Formidable. Exceptional. You don't know what you... You don't know who we are. But at least now, I rock there. I told them before, you, you are playing with us. You don't know who we are. But now they know. Now they know. The IPOB leadership that proclaims itself as Jewish, a position not shared by the generality of members. We, are no, we don't have members. We only use the word members sometimes to make people who are not well educated to understand what we're saying. We are a nation. We represent the nation. Of, we are the indigenous people of Biafra. We are not a group. There are indigenous British people like the Celts. They're not a group. The Celtic race in across the British Isles, which is Welsh people, people from Cornwall, the Scottish people, and the Irish. The English came. They came from Denmark, and they came from Germany. England, you see today, is a mongrel race. They come from the Isles of, um, of Denmark, and some of them came from, from, from Saxon, from Lower Saxony in, in Germany. They are not original British people. 
the only original British people are the Celts, the Celtic people. And they have their language in tomorrow morning. Now you understand, don't you? <laughs> hey, Elibre. Heaven is bearing me witness. Not man. Man, uh, what we are saying is beyond the knowledge of people schooled in a very decrepit, very dilapidated system of education in the zoo. You don't, you can't comprehend what we're doing. Anybody, you can't. I'm telling you the truth, you cannot. You cannot. They say, we, but I'm, I have not proven to, proven to Aisha, who is the current Madam President of Nigeria. Including yourself, Aisha, you're a Jew. If you're not a Jew, there is nothing that the dome on the rock will be doing inside the Temple of Solomon. Muhammad wouldn't have gone there. The prophet could not have gone to Jerusalem. <laughs> now you understand. Everybody is a Jew. Everybody. And because the Jews are the children of light, that is why darkness will always hate them. If you hate a Jewish person, that means you belong to darkness. Because they are the light. In the whole world. The best scientists of the world, all Jew everywhere is Jewish. For your information. Something very proud of. Very proud indeed. For reasons of convenience, he claims, he's, they're not referring to me, he claims, no longer IPOB, they're not referring to me. For reasons of convenience, he claims to have an interest in the wealth of Christians. That's not about me. He claims. They don't understand them, they can't, he said he claims. And like a zoo, let's leave them and wait for the burial, they're finished. They're finished. Let me tell you that this subterfuge and misinformation by the Flannery Janja with is how they operate. They think now it's like before. <laughs> See, uh, it's an online country. You're on Facebook, you're online. Because I, I warned you last week, they want you to leave social media so they can occupy it and keep lying against you. That's why I said, bring. Uh, I want every Biafran to, I've been telling you this, Facebook and Twitter, very, very critical. Let's fight this battle. We are the light. They are the darkness. Darkness has never defeated light before because darkness doesn't exist in nature. Darkness only exists due to the absence of light. And we are the light. And we are alive. As long as we are alive and we are radiating these photons. It's called a photon, please. They think that carries light. There is no way that darkness can prevail. We need to, all of us, tell your sisters and your brothers, everybody, they must be on social media fighting for the freedom of everybody and fighting oppression wherever we see them. I'm like, fella, I see evil and I call it out. Once it is evil, I must tell you what you're doing is evil. It doesn't matter the country you belong to. I will tell you. Slaughtering of Christians of Hausa extraction in southern Kaduna is evil. That is what I condemn. I condemn it. This entirety. Going to jaws and slaughtering Christians. I don't like it. And I will campaign against it. It doesn't matter that these people all conspired against Biafra. It doesn't matter. I am not a child. I'm not a child. I have forgiven them. I want everybody in Nigeria to be free. Even including some of the poor Fulani people. I want them to be free as well. I'm not against anyone. I am against the forces of darkness. That's all. Not against people who are working very hard and suffering on a day-to-day -day basis, trying to eke out a living. Please listen. The two central planks upon which the Fulani Janjaweed campaigned and took power from Jonathan was there was the inviolability of that very zoo called Nigeria, which now Boko Haram have now taken over some areas. And nobody's talking. But somebody spoke. Albeit from PDP, but somebody spoke. Insecurity, remember, I traveled to Sweden. I went to Swedish national television again to be interviewed by a journalist in Sweden. People don't know how far we have gone for the sake of Biafra. And somebody staying somewhere and molding a bit of block. Oh, up to one room now. Hotel. He wants to finish one. He's building a, a, a twenty-bedroom hotel. 
is busy in the price of cement and the drip, calling the man, supplying sand. <laughs> As they are doing that, I was busy in Sweden. In Sweden, lobbying the Swedish government and going on the national television to go and speak about Biafra. Do you know what was told, what the journalist told me in Sweden? This was in 2015. He said, no, 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 we don't want Jonathan there. He doesn't, not, uh, then I didn't know that Obama was the one behind all this game. Obama wanted a Muslim in charge. They needed to renew their oil contract. They were not sure that Jonathan would give it to them. So they needed something. The Yoruba said they were angry that they didn't have or hold that many positions in position that would only benefit them or not the whole of Yoruba race, mind you. They didn't have enough positions in Jonathan's administration. Because of that, they were going to bring it down. But as I've told you before, a, a Yoruba Muslim will always align with the Fulani in the north. That is how it is. A Biafran Muslim will always align with the Fulani in the north. Some of you have forgotten that when Obama, a whole president of the USA, traveled to Saudi Arabia, he bowed before the king of Saudi Arabia, the most powerful country in the world, their leader, bowing before people that produce nothing and that make nothing, that import everything. What does that tell you? Their religion is more important to them than common sense and decency. That is why any Biafran who is a Muslim will always, will always serve the caliphate. Do you know why? Because the supreme leader of Islam, of Muslims in Nigeria, is a Fulani man, the Sultan of Sokoto. Does that make sense to you now? Does that make sense to those of you who can't quite reason properly? Does that make sense to you? Now, let me read this thing for you. They use the insecurity as their landmark. That is how they are going to win everywhere. Insecurity. Voting the general. Voting Buhari is the, the hard man. He's the general. As the Swedish white man told me, we need a general who is there who can do something. The general went in. The general saw. The general died. They have continued to rule in the name of the general till this very day. And insecurity got worse. Way worse. Can you imagine Jonathan being in power? And all this banditry? All this killing of Christians? All these massacres everywhere? By now they have gone to Asadok to go and, and burn Jonathan alive. But then the funniest thing. The man who promised he was going to solve all these problems, he's dead in Saudi Arabia in a shallow grave. The person that uh, they used to replace him is also dead. Now the man's wife is the one who is in charge. And all of you know all of these things. That's why they can never show his legs. That is why he will always wear a shoe to enter into a mosque. Because no matter what you can do to the face, in terms of deep fake videos and using rubber mask, you cannot wear a rubber mask now on your feet. It's no longer possible. So that is why I can never show his legs. Because his legs are as fresh as that of a 45-year-old. That is the truth. That You can never see. Even the picture they released today, claiming is Aisha Buhari, Buhari's uh, sister. This Buhari who can no longer speak. Oh, they cut off the legs. Don't look at the pictures, he's there. They cut his legs off. <laughs> they don't want you to see <laughs> how fresh he's looking. Because they think you are all fools. But we, we know we are not. They campaigned on insecurity that Jonathan wasn't good enough. Let's bring in this hard man. Yoruba newspapers campaigned. Yoruba media. I keep telling you, Euro. Oh my God. I wish people can open their eyes and see. With the exception of this Abiola's daughter that I saw today. Go and see what is going on. Now, Southern Kaduna. Isandu. Yagba, East Government Area of Kogi State. And robbers, oh my goodness, insecurity everywhere, insecurity everywhere is on fire. Alamajiri is coming down, every Janjaweed in the Sahel, every child of Lucifer, born under the banner of Islam and of Fulani Janjaweedism is heading down into the zoo, to the extent that Gan Ganduje said they should close the borders in the north. And I'm asking people from the south of Nigeria, when I say now, you say I'm insulting you, but I just want to bring to light 
how stupid all of you are in the south by which i mean biafrans and yorubas alike do you see how foolish you are they close your own borders in the south but in the north all their borders are open and you can't think you cannot reason you can't ask yourself questions because all of you are afraid or should i say 48 percent of yorubas are muslims that's the problem even their pastors yeah their pastors performing miracles in the name of jesus christ or so they claim they were once Muslims, but then when they saw that there's a lot of money to be made in Christianity, they all jumped in. So you don't know they're all Muslims? And they're not screaming out, so it's those of us fighting for freedom for everybody. As today has been confirmed by the international community that IPOB led by Nam De Kano is fighting for Christians, fighting against the persecution of the innocent in Nigeria is here. Your daddy Giro hasn't done it. He owns an aircraft. From the money you paid him to pay that, to plant, to water it, they are not scammers, but we are. Do you see how a black man reasons? You see, that is, you know, sometimes I wonder, and I say to myself, but God cannot make people that stupid. It's, it's not possible. But unfortunately, in Africa, it is. Somebody who spent his money came out fighting to free you, to give you information to make you free, which has now been acknowledged by the whole world by virtue of this very press release is a scammer but the person that doesn't do anything for you all he does is he opens the bible says, let's read today the gospel of matthew he got there, and jesus christ went up the hill and he prayed and he fed the multitude uh, oh praise god you say hallelujah he said now it's time for 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 tithes and you pay he is not a scammer do you see how africans reason <laughs> this is how africans reason <laughs> Oh, dear me. Now everywhere is raging. Governors are crying. They are complaining. Our mothers made a video. I've sent it to one or two or three or four governors for them to see. What our mothers are lamenting. The state of hopelessness in our land. Insecurity everywhere. And people also come back to these uh, people. They are calling scammers to ask them, please do something. We are fighting. And you can see the result. And we are doing something, and very soon you will also see the result. That is how good we are at what we do. Very, very formidable. Exceptionally formidable. Unstoppable. We are IPOB. I said we are unstoppable. Nobody can. Not today, not tomorrow, not forever. That's how strong we are. That is how formidable we are. Did that the G O. Our daddy, our what has daddy done for you? Did your daddy give you any palliative? Are they fighting for your freedom? The same way that Archbishop Desmond Tutu did. The same way that the Roman Catholic Archbishop of Owere is now doing. I don't know what it is about Catholicism and freedom. Anthony Obina. All is there. Hey, open our churches. So, yeah, we want the churches to open. If you don't open the church, you're Antichrist. <laughs> they want their money. But they're not scammers. So no, no. I, they're not the G.O. The person in IPOB fighting for your freedom. Do you see how foolish you are as a black person? The person fighting for your freedom is a scammer. But the person that contributes nothing to your life, absolute zilch, zero to your life, taking your tithe, uh, planting of um, uh, seed, sowing of seed, uh, the weeding of the seed, uh, all these things you pay. He is not a scammer. He has a private jet with your money. He's not a scammer. Do you see how foolish you are? These black people in this When I say this, I mean, I'm not insulting you. I just want to bring to your attention how daft you are so that you may change. That's all. I'm not saying it to condemn you. I'm saying it so you can go back, look yourself in the mirror, realize how <laughs> slightly stupid you are, and then change your ways. And know that it is only IPOB that can lead you into the light. And that light is freedom. That is what we represent. And that's what we preach. Every blessed day. There is insecurity everywhere. Insecurity everywhere. All they do is to steal. Lie to you. Oh, Tinobu, Tinobu 2099. Tinobu 1592. All that's rubbish. But they will not tell you that Tinobu is the one. Collecting the toll gate, toll, toll gate money at Hajan Lake Road. He toll gate, Tinubu, toll gate, Tinubu, in his pocket. Jagaban. He's a, well, for our president, oh, he's Tinubu. Toll gate from you. 
He is not a scammer. He is not a fraud. Do you see how foolish you are as a black person in the zoo called Nigeria? Tinobu is not a, he's a, a presidential material. A thief is a presidential material. Those who are campaigning and fighting for you to have 24 hours electricity, to have good roads, good hospitals, for you to be able to run your lives the way you want, the way, the way to make meaning to you. No, they are first as all, but the one building toll gates, the one asking you to go come, come to his university that you paid for out of your tight money and offering money that you don't have to pay for to go to, they are saints. And you're telling me you're well mentally. I <laughs> very much doubt it. This is a live presentation of Radio Bethel. We are live and direct, and the whole world is listening. The whole world is listening, and I'm going to shock the zoo this night. I want to let the Fulani Janjaweed know this. I want to let Aisha, because Aisha is the one now who is the madam de facto president. She is the one in charge. Aisha, this is her third boyfriend that she's using now to be wearing the mask of the husband. That is the truth. One day you will thank me for it. I was telling you before that that sort of was empty. There is no president. They are all gone. You said no. Now that Shoinka have said it, you may be able to listen. I posted it. I can't lie. I am under divine instruction. And I'm, I can't lie. What am I lying for? And I'm at what I say. I think I tell you the truth. When I told you that Buhari was dead, that's what he's empty. He didn't believe me. Till today, I'm asking you, where is Buratai? Have you heard from him? Where is Osibajo? Have you heard from him? Have you heard from any of them? His only video. He was in a conference call. He attended a meeting of Fekomog. Uh, he was here. He was, have you seen him? Yoruba, have you seen your son? Everything I tell you is gospel. It's your putin again. Now listen to me very carefully. I'm about to reveal the plans of the caliphate. So you understand the way they operate. Now, anywhere you see a lorry broken down, Dangote lorry, they take off the tire, is broken down. That place is a place where they have used to supply arms to the Janjaweed in the forest. Anywhere you see any broken down Dangote truck in the south, Go into the bushes. The flannies are there. That the arms are there. We know. We found them. But I cannot tell you what we are doing with it. We have their arms for your information. Right today. What's it? talking about? Today's date is the is Sunday, the seventh of June. Today is Sunday, the seventh of June. Twenty-eight minutes to nine p.m. in Biafra land. GMT. Sometimes we ask GMT. I'm telling you this. We have recovered some guns from them. Write it down so in the future you will reference today's date and what I told you. Anywhere you see a Dangote truck broken down, it's, it's no longer working, they are changing the tire, they are fixing the engine, that same place, watch very carefully, you will see Okada, you see motorbikes come and go. Motorbikes will come and go. They are taking arms into the bushes, into the forest. Therefore, Dangote is a part and parcel of this jihadi conquest of the South. And Yoruba, you are in trouble. Yoruba, hey, hey, hey. serious trouble, I'm telling you this. Now, anytime there is a breakdown problem with a lorry, Dangote, especially from the north, they are distributing weapons. Distributing weapons. Anywhere you see a helicopter hovering, like the one we had in Ebony a few days ago, they are racing because we've driven them away. So that is stalking them. The Nigerian army is involved in arming dangerous terrorists and bandits to kill you. Therefore, every, in fact, China has sent those pictures to America to post everywhere for the world to see. And um, I want it posted because I want everybody who is from a Boeing, every Biafran from a Boeing state, serving in the Nigerian army. I want to let you know that that same Nigerian army is busy supply, as you're fighting, Boko Haram, in Medugri, in Adamawa, in Taraba, in Yobe. The same army you're wearing their uniform, doing all Shebe with, they are supplying their brothers, their terrorists to take over your village, to kill your mother, to kill your father, to kill your relatives. I want those pictures to be distributed. Now that the world, in, you know the places where I posted, we drove them out. 
They waited for some days. They started to resupply them with arms. We have it. Helicopter. Nigerian army. In a Boeing state. In a Boeing. And there are people from a Boeing state serving. I don't. Is the, is the warped reasoning of a black man. I don't know how you can be serving in an, in an army that is busy trying to take over your own village and kill your people. Anywhere you hear a helicopter hovering near a forest, they are supplying their people there. That is the, that is the preferred method of the, the governor of Cardinal State, Nasser El Rufai. That's, that's, the, that's the method. And as I told you, he is part and parcel of the Janjaweed Brigade, those seeking to conquer the whole South. Anywhere as I told you before, Igbo culture is important for them, River State. Where they have their men saboteurs, River State, they need it at all costs. I said at all costs. Some of you don't know the battles that Wike is fighting, you have no idea. If you know the battles that man is fighting, I'm telling you, if you see him, you, you bow for him. The man is fighting a battle with demons everywhere. Fulani wants to take over, do you call it River State so people can hear? They want to take over River State at all costs and by every means. I said at all costs. They have brought out their people to confuse you. They need it. That was why they got that idiot to write and say, oh, if is not her, in, no, my happiness now is that people have now discovered where they come from. He didn't say Niger Delta. See how we killed off the whole Niger Delta nonsense. No longer Niger Delta. You know, if it's, it's we Niger Deltans. We have killed off that rubbish. Answer your name. What is your name? Ibibio. So we can know you. What is your name? Ibo. So we can know you when we are talking. What is your name? I'm Ejo. So we can know who you are when we are talking to you. They want Igbo water to go. Because they need the oil. They are very lazy. Children of darkness. They don't go to work. They have nothing. For them to continue to have access to the oil and the oil revenue, they need to maintain their stranglehold on power. And the Iguacha is critical. Now you know. People are advising us. I spoke to a very high-ranking security officer and they said, we must, every home must get a double barrel. I spoke to a high-ranking person in the army, a house man. You won't believe it. <laughs> After telling me how great they think what I'm doing is, that they couldn't, they, they can't, them as houses cannot believe that a Biafran can be fighting for them. A Hauser military officer is telling me this. <laughs> oh dear me. He said to me, tell your people everybody must go and get a double barrel because they are coming. In fact, no matter how, they are in the bushes already. They are going to pour out very soon. The more, you know what the man said to me? An hour, sir, top ranking army. You know what he said to me? The closer you get to revealing what is inside that rock, now people know. He said to me, now, he said before, when you were struggling, you were struggling all these years, you have not passed 60%. You know what he said to me on Thursday? Now, now, 65% of the people of the north now know that what you're saying is true there is no longer and i asked him pointedly as an army officer your house is there any buhari in asorok he said no there's no buhari there i was a man he said to me it's very ironic we are looking up to a biafra now to save house people <laughs> oh dear oh dear he said to me, go to the radio and tell your people, everybody must buy a double barrel and keep it with you when you're sleeping. Because they are coming. It's the plan of the government. As they are diverting your attention. Oh, we even won. Igbo presidency. That presidency. Go and register. Join political party. All diversionary things designed to take your eyes away from the threat and the danger. Which is the funny people in our bushes. They have come to take over our land. Listen very carefully. Those that said that the zoo is indivisible, has it not divided already by itself? That somebody can come, the same people making the argument that, oh, you cannot come out and say, oh, the presidency is your turn. The same people that when Jonathan was there, they kept saying, it's our turn, it's our turn, it's our turn. All of a sudden, they are now in power, like the, like the Islamic Brotherhood always does. 
You know, the Islamic extremists, the brother, they always go to polls to go and win election. Once they get into power, they now tell you about Islam and Sharia. That there should be no election anymore. That's what they have done. They were, when they were clamoring every day, it's our turn. You, we are robbed with Yeradua. You must give us our, our, our mandate back. Let's complete our turn. From completing their turn, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they are now saying that all oh, this traditional presidency, is it a uh, presidency unlimited? They are trying to be clever. Full of anything, they are smart. It is only Yoruba cowardice that is making Franny feel the half power. I am saying it live so the world can hear. I don't hate anybody. I tell you the truth. The only thing giving Fulani courage to be killing people, to be doing what they're doing, is the cowardice of the Yoruba race. And they are unfounded and stupid hatred of an evil man. Those two things. If Yoruba can go back tonight and remove those two things from their mind, um, before God and man, I'm telling you, by this time next week, there will be no more Nigeria, everybody will be free. Yoruba should stop being afraid of the Fulani. You must stop being afraid of them. They are like darkness. Switch on the light and they flee. As we have done. Now, uh, uh, how many Fulefus do you get from Biafra land now? We have chased them so much. Only the hardened ones, those they pay direct, are the ones now talking. Every Fulefu is asleep. Only the ones that are paying direct are the ones. But very soon, they will all go to sleep as well. Mark the date, the time. I don't make videos. There's no need for it. Very soon, they will stop talking. They will know. We brought down the zoo. Talk less of refraps. That we feed. That in a Oh dear. We shall see. We shall see. Today, now, the whole world knows. Not just that IPOB is fighting for Christians everywhere. You can hear it from us, Rock. IPOB is fighting for Christians. And IPOB, they are Jews. They, they are fighting for Christians. Are you, are you listening? Because we want the good of everybody. Of everybody. Of everybody. Now, listen. You know that in Islam, you don't wear shoes to enter the mosque. We know that very well. Everybody knows that. Not even socks. You do ablution and uh, you go in and you pray. You come out. Ask yourself this question, why would somebody they claim is Bukhara, of course, which you know to be Aisha's boyfriend wearing a face mask, why would he wear shoes into the mouth? They will look at him. They will look at the legs. He's a young boy. And now you know, don't you? It's called common sense. Putting one and one together to get two. Simple common sense. Which, of course, is not. If people who can see they are giving daddy Gio and call him a good man, and somebody who is a freedom fighter is a fraudster, is a scam, what do you think that person has upstairs? Nothing. That's how foolish they are. And people are wondering why is Africa poor? Africa is poor <laughs> because of how you reason. You reason like poor idiots. You don't reason very well. That is why everybody is poor. You don't reason very well. We must conclude based on the picture we saw yesterday. I'm trying to tell you what is happening in the zoo. That even the hitman himself is dead. Who is Buhari? Though he's dead, they are carrying on the Janjaweed agenda. They are in a hurry. In so much hurry that the man with the mask can't, couldn't even take off his shoes before he entered the mosque to go and pray. And he's sitting down on a chair. The old dead Buhari, even if he's dying, can never sit on a chair in the mosque. Never. Fulani is doing all this. called Takia. They want to deceive all of you just to remain in power. As the Archbishop said, that is what children of darkness does. That is their job. They need political power to wreak havoc. Is that not happening in the zoo now? Deaths every day, killings everywhere. That is no longer news. And will BBC report it? The thing about Africa, COVID-19, will they report about the news of the dead or of people being slaughtered by the Fulanis? The answer is no. Nobody is allowed to pray in the shoes in the mosque, but only in the zoo called Nigeria. Only in the zoo. There are, when people talk about Biafra and secession, there are things they don't quite know about 
the views of the granddaddy of tribalism and ethnic bigotry. They try to accuse me of being an ethnic bigot. They have cleverly forgot what Ahmadu Bello said. I didn't start it. Ahmadu Bello started it. A full animal started it. By saying, although we are Nigerians, but I will not give job to an Igbo man. If there is no northerner who can do the job, I will give it to a white man. If there is no white man, then I will give it to Yoruba, maybe. Didn't, didn't you hear when Ahmadu Bello said that? Are you deaf? All of you are deaf. Those of you claiming you are intellectuals. You are intellectual. What are you doing? Uh, are you deaf? When I remember was saying that, were you deaf? You claim, today you are preaching to me about one Nigeria. One Nigeria. When Ahmadu Bello, the founder of 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 Fulani ethnic bigotry, when he was talking his nonsense, where were you? Where were you? You were deaf and dumb. We have the videos on my page. Go there, you scroll down, you will see it. Mouthing rubbish. You never said a word. Now, when I say my people should be free, I am the one who is at fault. You don't know that white people are intelligent. When I go to meetings with them, that's what I tell them. Oh, but, but uh, Mr. Khan, uh, they, they said you are an ethnic bigot. You know what I do? I call our deputy Uche. Put on that clip for them. <laughs> and we project it on the wall. And by the time uh, uh, the clip finishes, <laughs> you see them scratching their heads. I said, okay, next item. And that one is buried. They don't know how prepared we are. You know, it's, it's actually a very good thing. When we started, they said, oh, ha, they are adults. <laughs> they are uneducated. They didn't go to school. Then that reminded me of what we used to hear in the when we were small. If you're, if you're boiling rice or whatever and you cover it and you're busy playing video game, by the time you come, there'll be steam everywhere. There'll be sludge on the, on the top of the cooker. If you're using firewood to cook, the pot will so much boil over that the liquid in the pot will quench the fire, the firewood will go off. Because we ignore that little pot. That was you know that Elohim is miraculous. They looked at you then, oh, no, they're not intellectuals, they're not oh no, leave them. They are towns. They are looking for money. Hey, they know nothing. By the time they came back, <laughs> the zoo had crumbled. Uh, they are playing with us. <laughs> they don't know who we are. Let me tell you what Ahmad Bello said in 1964. I tweeted, that's what everyone has to be on Twitter. I tweeted and I said what the man said in the tweet that I made. I think that was yesterday. Go to Nam, Mazen Namdekano on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter and become educated. Follow me on Twitter. The official, my official account, I think is 142,000 followers. And I love them because they retweet. All I'm asking you to do is just to retweet, that's all. Retweet only, that is all. Do you know what Amadi Bello said? That man that hates Sibo so much. <laughs> if the East, he never said the East, which means a John, a Bibio, it means a Calabari, it means a Ethic, it means a Oron, it means a Anang, it means a Koi people, it means a Jalan, it means a Ishekiri, it means Yorobo. Everybody, he said the East. East. Amadi Bello. If the East insists on seceding, which means that the yearning for freedom didn't start today. In 1964, before Nzobu's coup, before the war, even the Janjaweed, they knew we wanted to go to be on our own. Ahmad Bello said in 1964, if the East insists, insisted on seceding, then other Nigerians ought to secede Odd, sorry, other Nigerians ought to concede such a right in peace. When the granddaddy of Fulani Janjawidism, Ahmadu Bello, was saying this in 1964, he said, allow Biafra to go in peace. 
but they did not want to ignore what he said because at least i i like them that way they never ignore their past masters even if they are dead so to carry out that to wage that war against the east they brought go on who is a christian and not a full man to wage that war because if they are the ones waging this war americans and the french would have asked them but amadou bello said allow them to go in peace that's what Amadou Bello said. Then why are you fighting? They said, okay, instead of us to implicate ourselves that way, let's call a foolish Christian, like go on, make him head of state, give him the template of the war to go and fight a war. And that was what the idiotic go on did for them. Not knowing that he's being used. Today they have massacred all these people. And they are crying in the middle belt. Don't you know that? You can't escape history. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. And I mentioned the children of light versus darkness because I'll keep making references to it. You see why I like Trump? You see why I like him? Do you know that had it been Obama who is the president of... Uh, Obama destroyed five African countries for information. Five was destroyed. Are you telling me that this man called... Additional will be probed. That is corruption everywhere in the zoo. Every ethnicity, every they all corrupt all of them. As long as you're pretending in limelight, you're, you're a thief. Do you know that after making noise that the board of the African Development Bank (AFDB) have now authorized an independent probe of the president, Akin Wumi Additional? And who authorized it? Who asked for this probe to be called United States of America? Do you see how people who are just and upright, the way they behave? It doesn't matter whether it's evil. They don't have any right to interfere in ADB. No right whatsoever. But the man saw something wrong. Something wrong. Nepotism in Africa Development Bank. What this are, are they? Is it Akin Wumi Adeshina was doing? I said, no, go and probe him. We have seen something. That is how honest, decent people behave. I have nothing against this man, but he needs to step down because he is corrupt. He is corrupt. Akin Wumi Adeshino is a corrupt banker in ADB. But because he's corrupt, see how they're protecting him. Obasanjo, you see how Aisha's boyfriend, they brought him because they need Yoruba, they need every, every friend they can get. To keep Nigeria one, they need every friend, everybody, anybody who has friends outside to keep saying Nigeria is great. That's why they're supporting evil. That is why they're supporting evil. My goodness. My, but at least you say they're probing them. They're probing them because they're all thieves, they're all criminals. Where have you heard in your life that a presidential villa is on fire? Where in your life have you heard? The, you know, they tried to break into the office. It was impossible to break into. Are you aware of that? Go and look at all the pictures they are now releasing. And the pictures they used when Abba Kari was alive. Of the presidential office is no longer the same. I wish China Sassum to do something about it. Look for the old picture of Asorok. Look for the new picture of Asorok office. Presidential office, it is no longer the same. That was why they said there is fire. So they can bring in bulldozer and knock the whole thing down. And start again. Because they know I get my information from inside that rock. They know I do. They know I do. If they like, let them sack everybody there. I will still get my information from right inside there. Do you know that's what happened? They had to build an emergency presidential office. Go and look. And no, not even IPOB. Anybody can do it. Look for meetings inside that rock before the end of 2019. Then ask, look for all, since Aisha took over with her boyfriend, look at all their pictures and tell me if the offices are the same. They're no longer the same. Because the original presidential office, it had two glass shelves by the side. The new one doesn't have any. They, they had to do something to make you believe that that is Asarok. The main office itself. The reason why they said there was fire is to allow the Chinese engineers to bring in heavy machinery. It's like taking away a bank's vault. 
those of you in the banking sector, that they were involved. Is that something you can just do with um, ordinary, ascertain, whatever, that thing they used to, to do blowtorch, to open it. The Chinese tried. They couldn't open it. Now they said there is fire inside. Have you heard of such rubbish before? Fire inside a presidential villa. And sometimes I wonder what sort of God, what sort of, what sort of God created Nigerian people? What sort of, who, who made, who made you people? That you cannot reason. Fire inside it and people just dismissed it as if it's nothing. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Somebody is asking no news about Ambazonia. The news is not correct. It is not correct from Ambazonia. It is not correct. I must say that as a fact, it's not correct. We have made our checks and I have spoken to the leadership. It is not correct. The news from Ambazonia is not correct. I have spoken to the leadership of the movement. I have spoken to them. Fire in Asorok. Where have you heard of that nonsense before? The same Garabashi. Maybe it have reconciled with Aisha. <laughs> if you sack me, I'll tell the whole world what happened. They say, okay, okay, come in. You know, the zoo, they operate on blackmail. <laughs> That's the way they do it. <laughs> on blackmail. I can see that some of my Yoruba brothers are crying and complaining about Akin Wumi <laughs> of, um, of um, Africa. He, he, he is corrupt. He's a thief. Unochiko. <laughs> and Trump called him out. Trump said, don't tell me that rubbish. Go and investigate him. And he's crying and he'll be found guilty, of course. Because they can't ask for you to be investigated unless there is incontrovertible proof they've done something wrong. That is how it works in the financial sector. It's numbers and figures. That is the way we, that's where we, we know. I have it. Asorok is on fire. Are you aware? Central Bank on uh, fire. Uh, Akanda General's office on fire. Asorok on fire. And if people think everything is normal. You think everything is normal. This is why I call you zoo animals. That's why I call you zoo. No man, no zoo people. Because you don't reason. Only animals reason the way that Nigerians do. They don't reason very well. Mind you, I said Nigerian, so I never insulted Odudua, Yoruba. I never insulted uh, uh, Biafrans. I never insulted Arewa. I said Nigeria. Please. So if you feel a Nigerian, then and you want to feel insulted, that's entirely up to you. You are liberty to do so. But there is nowhere in the world where a presidential villa is on fire. Go through your records. Go and check. How can there be fire? More than there is fire extinguisher everywhere. For a fire to be reported, it had to be major. Common sense. Common sense. You think we don't know? They are now going to move in the heavy machinery. Oh, there was a fire yesterday. Uh, it should be, you know, hear about them. He should be, you know, see for channels. Uh, uh, there was fire now. Madam said there's fire. To give them the cover they need to bring in the heavy equipment to break down the office that has Abakiaris and fingerprints. You have forgotten. It took them nearly four months when Buhari died to get Abakiari to access the office. Now Abakiari is dead. It will take them another four months to complete it. Watch and see now. They've tried and tried and tried. They now have to stop. go and check the pictures. They now have to stop a temporary office of the president. This one now has curtains at the back. They think we are foolish. They don't, they don't know who we are. Yeah, if we are miscreants, so by the way, don't forget. They, 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 they've grown tired of the name miscreants. Uh, what they are saying is that they are scammers. <laughs> they have run out of what to say. <laughs> Completely and totally. They are now called scammers. That's the new phrase. Your daddy G.O. is not. Those looting and burning everywhere, they are not. Black, black, Mr. G. Black. We have come to switch on the light. That your stupidity may flee. Very, very daft indeed. And you're wondering why you are suffering. Uh, we must do something. We are suffering. We, we, are, we are suffering too much in this country. Your stupidity is why you're suffering. You are, your brain, the stupidity programmed into your brain by nature is the reason why you are suffering. You are black. You are suffering the same way they're killing us in America. Are you telling me that had a black people developed one slightly decent country in Africa, that whites will be killing you? How many Asians have they killed? 
Can't you ask yourselves, is him how many Asians? They are killing blacks in America because Africa, black Africa is a disappointment. A disappointment. That is why they are killing blacks in America. If you don't know, let me tell you. The time now has come to 9, almost 9 p.m. Land of Biafra. I'm on spiritual. Elohim gave me a message. And that's exactly what I'm delivering this evening. A message that must be preached. Buhari is not in charge of us or not. Says Professor Shoyinka. Shoyinka said, well, my first reaction was, thank goodness that people like um, Omar spoke. He hits, always hits the nail on the head. And then he continued, well, I'm, I'm appalled. I'm very sorry to say, I have been studying the trend over the past year and a half, and I believe this president is not in charge of this nation in so many aspects and directions. I am convinced he is not really and totally with it. There is no president. No longer Namdekano IPOB is saying it. But Shoinka is saying it. Everybody is saying it. But because darkness is still in charge, that is why you are blind, you cannot see. And that light is what IPOB is switching on so that you can see that Asorok is empty. Let me have a sip of water. Unlike the imposter before he died, Jibril is dead. That's why nobody can speak anymore. Jibril is gone. Jibril is gone. Is that Asha's boyfriend? They're still teaching him how to speak. Now you understand it very well, don't you? Shorika have now confirmed what I have always been saying. What I have always said. The answer rock is empty. Bukhari is not there. It doesn't matter the America one that they use. It doesn't matter how many fake pictures they release. The only presidency in the world that doesn't address the press, doesn't answer questions from anybody. Live broadcast, you have to beg them to do it. There is nothing. In fact, even when they ask for live, they record some nonsense and bring hole in the neck. You see all this evidence before you. No wonder Nigerian judges are so hopeless. Even when all the evidence is before them, they still write a ruling that is almost incomprehensible. You are a human being. God gave you brain, gave you eyes, gave you ears. You saw somebody without a hole in his neck before. He traveled to Cuba. All of a sudden, there's a hole in his neck. You couldn't ask questions. And you're telling me you're normal. You're a human being that ought to be respected. I sincerely do not think so. Now, Shoinka have seen what you have seen. Now, the banditry is increasing. Now, the Fulani criminality is not just in looting and burning. They are killing people, abducting health workers in Katsina, even in the home state of the brutal terrorist himself, Buhari, who is now dead and buried in Saudi Arabia. There is Janjawidism in full force. They consume themselves. Can you now see it? Even Katsina State is no longer safe. They, you know, Elohim works in miraculous. They thought they're coming after IPA, they're coming after Biafra to try to stop Biafra. But that same cancer is eating them up. And everybody is now getting their own fair share, isn't it? Of corruption. You know that Janja Buddhism is a form of corruption. That is why a country, somebody tells me he's an evil man. He is from, he's from uh, a, a John, he's from uh, a Bibio. And you claim you are part of one Nigeria. But they went and collected loan on your behalf. That the money they will use to, or the, where they will get the money to repay the loan is from your land. Yet you are not part of the beneficiary of it. And when you say you are marginalized, they say, oh, what, what do you mean by marginalization? But you went and you collected loan of 22.7 billion. Yet, there is no single allocation. Not one single allocation. Not a single one for, for Biafran people. Not a single thing allocated. Allocated. To Biafra. Not one. Look at the pictures of the Janja with everywhere. Hey, where are they going to this night? Where are they going to? This is happening right now in Gariki, in Okunon, right now. 
IPOB intelligence on the ground right now, 7.35 p.m. this evening. Hey, they dropped them off this night at the Gariki Market. They are all carrying long bags. People are listening to this um, broadcast in Enugu. They are all carrying long bags. That is rifles and assault weapons in Gariki. The invasion is in full swing. As we, this is live. I'm, putting, I'm telling you what is happening right now on the ground. Right now on the ground. Right now on the on the ground. Unbelievable. This is panicking. That, that right now, as I'm on air now, bro, the zoo is in turmoil. If your relative is walking in, ask them. Ask them what is happening to Aisha right now. Ask anybody in Asrock, you know. She's having seizures. I'm getting, as I'm talking to you, the information is still coming into my phone. As I'm looking at it right now, Aisha is having a panic attack right now, said Asrock. That they are finished. And I told her she would go to jail. Write it down. Aisha Buhari will go to prison. She will go to prison. This is what they call high crimes. And this is the proper treason. Subversion of the will of the people. The highest crime anybody can commit anywhere in the world. That's what is happening. They think they can get away with it. They, that means they don't know IPAD now. You don't know who we are. Honestly, you don't know. You have no idea. The people are finished. You don't know how prepared we are. We came prepared. Fortified. To pursue righteousness because our hands are clean very clean we are whiter than white and whiter than snow itself unblemished into part of isn't it very funny that those you feed are the ones turning around and saying that you're a scammer the many people you give food to that is how demented some people are. Madness. Ah, madness. You're a madman on the road and somebody gave you cloth, you're naked. And he came back and said, oh, that man there is, is naked though. <laughs> but that was the man that gave you what you're wearing. Can you reason that through? Can you reason? They don't know who we are. Every full life is gone in our land. There will be total cleansing, sanitation. Everyone will be clean and tidy. So that the world may know we are serious. That, that, that time is coming now. As I used to warn the zoo, I told them, most of it And now it has set, hasn't it? <laughs> every full every, every sabo and traitor, one day I will announce on air, the time has come. You will beg. Then it will be too late. As it is now with the zoo. Prophet Ingila told them, Negotiate now. Dialogue now. They said, no. Uh, yeah, uh, we have the Germans there. We have the army. Uh, we will co crush them. The prophet said, dialogue now. No, no, we will crush them. We are going to crush them. Dialogue now. Because a time will come when you would ask for dialogue and they will say, no. I saw Biafra in the spirit. Nam the Kano is walking like a small uh, pussycat. But behind him we are lions and every wild beast you can think of. They never saw meaning into what he was saying. They have Nigerian army. Today, where is Buratai? Where is Abakiari? Where is Buhari? <laughs> Oh uh, dear, I feel so. So it's gone, completely gone. Your name, Nigeria, you won't even answer. That name, Nigeria, you cannot answer that name. You will see what will happen to you. That when I'm in Arochuku worshiping Elohim, any day I go to the temple to pray, wherever you are, you will say that man said it. You don't know? <laughs> you don't know that, do you? We are preaching because, oh, Hanessa is crying at last, begging and crying. The 22, all they see is money. The 22.7 billion, that's none for us to share. Ndoshi. They want to share the money. That now they're crying. That thing that IPOB saw is from inside the bunker. Those of them 
on top of um, private jets. Uh, couldn't see. It's only now that they're crying like little children. And they back back home, crying like little kids. These are grown-up men crying to Janja Weed, begging Fulani, please give us some money. Uh, we are, and he said, you abandoned us. You don't have it. Whereas everything about the zoo comes from their land. Every is every money they make is from their land. Because they produce nothing and import everything. Finally, the Southeast lost that, which is the entire land, of course. And they can't, they couldn't do anything about it. They couldn't. They are writing. The South is finally lost out in the bid to be included. Can you imagine begging to be included in a budget in your own country? You claim it's Nigeria. You claim you are a Biafran. You claim you are an Igbo man. You are begging. You are begging to be included in a budget that should be for everybody. You are begging. And after begging, you wake up the next day you issue a statement saying, I'm a Nigerian. Can you see how, can, can, can you begin to comprehend how daft you are? Can you understand it now? After, but in your own, that means you have no pride, you have no shame, you have no honor, you have no dignity. They say we insult people, why won't I insult you if you're this stupid? You have no shame, you have no shame, you are begging somebody to include you from something that person took from your land. Can you believe such it is some it is beyond comprehend it is incomprehensible? That is how lo you have reduced us. And and Let me catch you people one day holding a meeting outside. Both the old and the young. Then you're finished. Keep disgracing yourselves and not us. Keep on this uh, as Pandev writing letter. As us, I heard some idiots. Hey, let us, hey, uh, on Niger data we stand. And uh, eat fools. Forgetting that um, Okobo is Igbo land. Uh, but we are land. You know, when people talk, I, ca I can't understand how people can reason backwards. Hey, our land, uh, this Biafra, it may not work. Oh, we can go here, we see. You know, we are landlocked. You are a trader in Sabongeri. You have not been home before in your life. What do you know about our land? So you don't know Pobo is Igbo land. You don't know Ndoni is Igbo land. You don't know where those places are. Have you been there before? Do you see how people are shamelessly parading their ignorance by claiming our land is, is somehow Biafra and is landlocked? No access to the sea. Can you believe such such stupidity? Coming from people that should know better. People that should know better. Opening their, their gob and and, 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 and and pouring out rubbish. We have our facts and figures. They are now uh, doing a movie for you in Asorok. <laughs> in Asorok, it's happening. People are crying. They're everywhere. They are killing us. What are you doing? What are... In fact, I have asked IPOB in the USA that the whole of USA. I keep talking about this defense fund. You know, I love it. I will talk about it. That people did not. Uh, people did not contribute to it. You know, the brain of a black man. He didn't contribute to something like the zoo. You know, I call them those with the giant with mentality. You see how they are taking all our resources. They sell our 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 crude oil. Sell everything from our land. They make budget out of it and exclude us. The same mindset that those of them asking for a defense fund are asking. You didn't contribute to it. You don't know what it's all about. You don't know the amount in there. You don't know the total. But you want to know. But I will, every time I will tell about defense fund. Every time I broadcast about defense fund, that we'll keep talking about it. Black people on this UG. I, I have now instructed IPOB in the USA to return the paltry $2,300 that all beer fans in America contributed. If they don't take it, I will donate it to a charity in America. Their home is burning. The whole of America, the whole USA, to defend our land. $2,300. 
He have a up to up to those eh 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 decor. All these idiots down there <laughs> with stupid empty frivolous, as they say, empty barrels make the most noise. Empty. Oh, but they were one. All these useless names. Two thousand three hundred dollars. And uh, the fools asking us for a defense fund. <laughs> they didn't contribute to it. Those that did two thousand three hundred dollars. The whole of America. They'll be coming and speaking stupid American slang. That will make a pan wine tapa in the village cringe. Two thousand three hundred dollars. Some said they're upset. Uh, I, I insulted them. I should turn it down a bit. Turn it down. A bit. People are coming. The Fulanis are killing you. They take the oil from your land. They buy weapons to come and kill you. And you in America, the time has come to defend your land. And it is 2,300. The amount that each of you gives to your daddy GO every month in terms of tithe and um, offering. And you and your daddy GO is on this earth, not in heaven. To save yourselves, you cannot. That is how daft some of you are. This defense, we'll I will talk about defense fund every day. <laughs> I love it. I love it very, very much. They are coming. There is warning from everywhere. But how far can you keep on warning people to try and do that which is right? They brought in another bill. Do you know that the new policing nonsense they're bringing in, do you, do you know what it's for? They want to take away the powers of the governors to be the chief security officer of their state. They are doing it because of weak. Because they cannot break in. Are you aware of that? They are doing all, all these nonsense. Uh, we want to reform the police. So they want to take away the powers from the governor and give it to a Fulani police commissioner. <laughs> Some of you don't know, do you? <laughs> I, zoo. But we are distraught that we know no stupid. What we want, if they have any brain, is to call for a referendum. I can tell Aisha the process she can adopt. First thing, you set up elections by option A4 to elect delegates to go for the sovereign national conference that Shoyinka and the Tinubu fought for. <laughs> but they have forgotten. You know that now there is money, there is toll gate money. Everybody is making cash now. So they've forgotten. Men without honor or principle. Aisha had a true option A4, which is actually in the Electoral Act. If you go there, you will see it. People say it's not in the Constitution. Because people don't understand the law. Any law made by the National House of Assembly becomes law. It becomes interpretable by the courts. It becomes part and parcel. It's therefore, you just don't have to look in the Constitution for something. You also look at the statutes. It is simple common sense. It is elementary one law and government. Elementary one. Therefore, there was a law they made under Jonathan reforming INEC. In that very law, you can see there that INEC are empowered or enabled by that law to conduct a referendum and place beside. It is there. Therefore, it is now an integral part of the Nigerian legal statute. In other words, there is a referendum in your constitution. It is there. I don't know how much they're going to pay me for these lectures, honestly. Oh, there is, we don't have it all. You cannot do it. So, if you're going by only the laws in the Constitution, that means there is no need for the National Assembly. What are they there for? They are there to make laws. So, you don't even know. Some of you don't even know that the duty of the National Assembly is not just to go and share money. Their job is not just to go and be sharing money. Their job is to make what is called laws. And that any law that comes out of National Assembly becomes binding unless it contravenes the Constitution. And in that law that they made, somebody should look for it, please. The, the law that Jonathan made, reforming INEC, that Electoral Law Act. I don't know the year that it is. Read through it very well. Find it maybe on PDF and do a word search. Type in the word referendum and you will see it. 
so there is referendum in the laws of nigeria so i'm asking aisha now what you can do is to use option a4 if you don't want to the system to implode and all of you will be, in fact you will die you are, i'm not even sure you may even make it to prison call for using option a4 instruct INEC to conduct elections for people to popularly vote truthful men and women to go to a conclave sovereign national conference to determine the modalities for the nationwide referendum that will lead to the peaceful breakup of Nigeria. I won't give you this, uh, this advice. I will not give you again. I know some of you are waiting to die to go and see 72, 76 virgins in heaven. Your wish is about to come true. Unless Aisha follows this simple, simple template, very simple. You don't need laws. Nigeria doesn't have any, uh, should I say, legal framework to challenge any uh, um, executive decree coming from Asorok. I call it a decree because, you know, that's the way they think, like dictators. Aisha instructs INEC to use the provisions of the Electoral Act to conduct elections, electing people to go to a sovereign national conference to determine the terms of dissolution of Nigeria. Or else... <laughs> What is about to come? Those who can should interpret for them. We are live and we are direct. The time now is approximately, should I say, 21 minutes. 21 minutes past nine. And we continue to preach this gospel, please. Because there are so many things for us to get through this very evening. And we must preach it. And I'm not going to tell you how they intend to take over your lives as a result of their COVID-19 law. Have you gone through that law before? Somebody took time and made some observations and suggestions on the law. And it is incredible. Absolutely incredible what they're trying to do. Fulani is out to grab power by every means. And they are determined. And with Yoruba media, with them in a very cowardly state, the Janjaweed will always get their way. And as I told them, Ojis Okalu is out and Ulisametu is left. I want to tell those who are in Asorok, you can, by your own admission this evening, you can attest to the potency of IPOB. This movement that I lead. It is a movement. Not, not a group. We are a movement. This movement that I lead by the grace of Elohim. This movement that I lead, according or going by your own admission this evening, we are very, very formidable. I thank you for releasing all Jews of Carlo. I know it's a thing of shame because I hastily came on air and I wrote on my page that all Jews of Carlo is free. Because of that, we wanted to show the world that now the Canada doesn't run Nigeria. You do. So you held him for more weeks. I understand. That's why I didn't say anything. Helpful for, for, you know, it's, a, it's, it's about shame. You don't want them to know that we have all it takes. So out of shame, you decided to somehow, you know, play your game and delay him for some time. But thank you all the same for releasing all your call. I have one more person remaining. His name is Olisa Metu, and you must release him. <laughs> you must, and I'm going to tell you why you must release him. Do you see what is happening to 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 uh, Adewumi Adeshino of Africa Development Bank? That's a child's play compared to what all of you are going to face, including the very mouthy and largely incoherent Issa Fintua. All of you are in a deep mess. You know, they signed an executive order just a few days ago. All of you trying to overthrow Trump, you're wasting your time. He'll still be there for your information because God is in control. You are wasting your time. People are not that stupid. Democrats can bring out everybody on the streets. We are not daft. We know that Trump is a good president for black people. Only if you have brain, you will understand. If you don't, you will just be like, the, like, like before. Obama was there for eight years. What did he do? How many blacks were killed under Obama? How many blacks were killed? How many lives did Obama destroy in Africa? Obama gave you Buhari. Obama killed Gaddafi. How many? What did he do as a black president in America? People should go and sit down somewhere. Let's continue. Uh, my favorite man from the north is Bishop Coker. I like him. 
He speaks the truth. You know what he said? Nigeria is full of... I am saying this because of Olisa Metu that you're holding in Kuja prison. I am asking those of you who are responsible, what, what I call the full and illegal team, they decide who stays in jail and who comes out. As I told you before, is Magu not missing? Has EFCC been indicting anybody ever since? I'm waiting for him to indict one more person from the South and he's gone. I am reading this thing out for the attention of those of you that claim you are full and you decide who is free and who is in jail. Those of you holding Olisa Metu, this is for you. It's for you. I am going to go by what Coca said. This is just an um, opening shot. I know where to go. I know where to submit your names. I know how to press and to pursue. You know, nobody can make us become... Uh, uh, um, dispirited, so to speak, to dampen our spirit. You cannot. Ask Facebook, they will tell you. I'm even surprised today that holding it at 11.8. I, I thought by now it would be about 3,000 because they know, even if you take us to zero, I will still be preaching. So it's meaningless. Now, listen very carefully. Fulani, those holding Olisa Metu, you must release him. M-U-S-T. Must. And I'm warning you because of this. Bishop, another Catholic uh, bishop. I don't know why. There is this thing about Catholic bishops. They always speak the truth. Maybe because they don't have any woman uh, stay with, stay sleeping with them at night. So they are very pure and clean and clear. They can see straight. The bishop of the Catholic Church of Sokoto, Matthew Hassan Koka, have just said that Nigeria is full of political thieves. Full of all of them, those all of them are all criminals, all of them. They are the ones calling us scammers because we are fighting for freedom. We are scammers. Those of them who are stealing are they are um, political leaders. <laughs> I know every blessed day they buy uh, they buy laptop and they buy mobile phone for those who are hung. You know, black people, children of darkness, to harvest them to be attacking us, on, and I love it. Do you know that every publicity is good publicity? Are you aware of that? When you write good thing about IPAB and Nam the Khan, when you write bad, oh, it's all the same. It is called name propagation. So it's good. At least if they don't know us by something good, they'll know us by something bad. And by the time as some of them are doing tonight, listening to me, they'll say, Oh, I never knew he was like this. Oh, such an upright man. <laughs> so that is why. Every anything I welcome everything people say I love it because it makes our name go very far. And by the time people come closer to us, they will know what we are made of. And then they fall in love with us. That's what happens. That is why we are the largest mass movement in the whole world by now. Martin Coca said they are all thieves, Janja weed everywhere from everywhere. But they are holding only some too. Why are you holding on this? I have asked before. The person that stole 13.9 billion meant for Asorok is not in prison. The people that stole all the money from NMPC, they are not in prison. And you know the funniest thing? Who is the petroleum minister, I ask? I am just warning. Aisha, are you listening? Who is the petroleum minister? It was your husband before he died. It was Abak Yari before he died. Now you, as a de facto president, you are the petroleum minister. Is that correct? Substantive petroleum minister you are. Mm -hmm. That means that NNPC comes under your remit, under your control. That means that you must have known about all the money missing in NNPC. Chain of command chain of responsibility and accountability you are in charge as the president minister for petroleum you are in charge of nmpc it comes under your department that you manage your portfolio are you telling me that you didn't know about this missing money is either you resign that you didn't know about it or you call out the names of those who are indicted aisha buhari also want to remind you that you have a pending investigation with Halliburton, bribery scandal. That is why you cannot travel to the U.S. Do you see why you must release all this amateur? Because I will push all these things to an extent that you will be shocked how far we can go. 
you must release Oli Sametu. You must release him. I thank you for releasing all things of Carlo. Yes, Oli Sametu must come out. There should be no Biafran in your jail until all of you criminals from Fulani, until you go to prison. All of you. All of you rogues. Now, when I say things that I say according to Coca, they are based on my Christian beliefs. No part of this country has produced the head of state as the North has done. The North is still insisting on holding on to power. This is the Northern are saying this. Yet it lacks the capacity to translate power into meaningful and useful impact on the lives of even its immediate constituency. Big grammar, yes. But I'll tell you. Coca is saying that Fulani always wants power. We want power. They don't know what to do with it. Only to lose. That's what a Northerner, well, that is what a, an, a Hausa Christian is telling his um, Fulani compatriots. Or compatriots, as you say. Are you listening? This is the level of decay and corruption in the zoo called Nigeria that they, they, they loot and they burn ministries. And the man that was given 400, common 400 million. That is not up to, up to IPOB budget in a year. Go and calculate it. Every month we spend between 110 to a hundred and twenty thousand dollars IPOB we spend. That is why Asarok is shaking. We are paying people to do the work they're supposed to do. Because they don't want you to give us money to do it. That is why they call us scammers, they call us thieves, because they want to poison your mind. They are the children of darkness. Once they poison your mind and you stop contributing to IPOB, we'll stop making the type of impact that led them to issue their press release. Now you understand it. Now you understand it. Coca is telling that they're all criminals. Every full and head of state, including the dead Buha, they are back here, they are now Aisha. They are all thieves. They don't know what, they, all they do is to want, they want power. They don't know what to do with it. The only people encouraging them are Yoruba journalists. I swear to God. I shouldn't be swearing, my goodness. Forgive me. I am telling you, I am telling you right now, Aisha, you see your listener, Metu? Release him, and I'll leave you alone. If you don't release him, every government of the world will receive your dose. Every government of the world. How much you've stolen, how your son is the fourth richest man in Africa. Every secret you have will expose it. Your three boyfriends, you are your third boyfriend now. The man you are now with, wearing the mask of your husband, is your third boyfriend. I know all these things. Release Oli Sametu. For me, release him. Release him. Coca said these people are corrupt. You don't know what to do with power. And it is true. Abundantly true. Oli Sametu is in jail. Audio Zakalo just came out. And I want common sense to prevail amongst the zoo people, zoo Nigerians, to understand this very clearly. If you don't release Oli Sametu, I will destroy the image of every frontline house. I wouldn't say house at least, forgive me. Every full and frontline politician will be dismissed. Beyond, even that Saudi Arabia and the UAE you go to, they will stop you from coming in there. Oli Sametu must be released. Must. And why do I say so? Because the news is always is already international. In case you don't know. Remember the Senate committee was probing the looting of NNPC funds by Fulani. Fulani, they are now asking, give us loan. Give us loan. China, uh, World Bank, uh, IMF, give us loan. But nobody from IMF asked the Fulani, as the Senate did many years ago. 
the 2.2 billion. The 2.2 billion that was stolen from NMPC. Who stole this money from NMPC? Fulani. Who is the Minister of Petroleum? Fulani. Who is the Chairman of uh, NMPC Board? Fulani. Who is the Group Managing Director of um, NMPC? Fulani. So, if you people are upright as you claim, we are fight corruption, 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 corruption. How come this is not anybody? How come your own Senate that you control? How come $2.2 billion is missing? This is just a simple a teaser of what is to come. Don't allow me to open up. I have the doors. I have it. Fulani, you claim Buhari is in power. Petroleum minister. He's in charge of NMPC. Let me tell the report by Reuters. Because Trump has just signed, he just signed executive order a few days ago. And that um, I am going to write, I will instruct our people, our consultants in, in Washington, we are going to write to the State Department and to Trump again, reminding him of the amount you stole from NMPC. And we want to know the justification why Fulani will go and steal 2.2 billion illegally withdrawn, illegal, illegally withdrawn. And then you have the temerity to ask World Bank for COVID-19 loan. COVID-19 loan. But you stole money. I am asking Fulani. I am asking Aisha, Magu, every Fulani kleptomeni. Oh my God. I am asking every Fulani thief. Where is the $2.2 billion you withdrew illegally from an NPC account? Where is the money? Aisha, you are not the president minister. Where is the money? Your, uh, uh, what's his name? November 15, 2018. It was Abakiari who was in charge then. Where is the money? The money was stolen between 2016 to 2018. Central Bank, you see this boy, what's his name? Central Bank um, Governor, MFLA. You go to prison. You are a man. You go to jail. MFLA, between 2016 and 2018, NMPC withdrew 2.2 billion US dollars. Where is the money? They withdrew the money from Central Bank. Where is that money? Emefele, where is the money? Aisha, where is the money? Abakari's family, where is the money? Isa Funtua, as a cabal member, where is the money? Isa Nda, where is the money? Mama Ndawara, where is the, this 2.2 billion? You think you are dealing with fools. Do we look like you're a journalist to you? People you can intimidate? Do we look like Yoruba journalists you can drive fear into them? Because you took one state from them. They are shaking. They cannot fight back. <laughs> Somebody said the money was used in school feeding. Somebody wrote, what's his name? Who wrote this? His name is Possible Banks. I don't know. That name is a bit fine. He wrote very well. Maybe they used it for school feeding. 2.2 billion. Bring that to the calculator. How much did um uh what's his name? How much did um Elizabeth steal? You claim he stole money. The money that PDP gave him to run a campaign. You claim he stole it because he was the first put to challenge Buhari in 2015. He was writing as an opposition, as he should, against Buhari. He got somebody called that bank to lock him up, to jail him. But your own thieves, they are world leaders, they are elder statesmen. And Olisa Metu that took money to go and run a campaign is in prison. But you criminals are free walking up and down with 2.2 billion 
from NMPC. That is the number one money they, they stole. That, many more is coming. Many more is coming. Many more is coming. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. I am so happy. Others may keep quiet, but I will not. The law of natural justice demands that Olisa Metu should be set free. I know it may be hard because many of you may not like the world to, to know that uh, now the town is asking for something and you're doing it. Look, I won't talk about it again. No? If you're prepared to bring him out, use whatever style. Let me promise you, I won't talk about it again. Use your style to bring him out. But the moves to bring him out must commence within 14 days. I will try to contact the family and ask them, has the move commenced to free Olisa Metu? If the answer is no, then it's bye-bye for all of you. You can't travel abroad again. None of you will. I'm just warning you. You think we are, you think we are joking. Do you seriously think we are joking? You people are the ones stealing money. The same thing you did to house other people. You've come to fight corruption, but you're the ones who are corrupt. Fulani are the corrupt ones. You think you can, you people and Tunubu can connive and use your media, use channels to be, to be destabilizing the lives of people. Claiming you're fighting corruption. When you people are the ones who are corrupt, how many times have you been to a central bank to withdraw money from an NPC account? Where are the documents? Where, where did the money go to? You think you're smart. You're fighting corruption. Check it, Bunok. Ndara. May God, I'll punish all of you. You are criminals. You claim you're, you're fighting, you're, you're, you're fighting corruption. But nobody is more corrupt than the Fulani. Nobody is. Yoruba is afraid. Oh, always fearful. I don't know why they are scared. Scared of who? Yoruba fought Habacha. Where are those of you that fought Habacha to stand still? Because of 2019. Because of, um, is it 2019 or is it 2093? I don't know. I wish Dora is alive. Some people wrote to remind me today is the sixth year of her passing. And may her soul continue to rest in peace. A brave woman. A fine, beautiful woman. Dr. Dora Akunili. I wish there was somebody like her today. You know, we are fearless people. Fearless before our enemies. She was the one that stood up and told them that Yeradua is dead. Bring in Jonathan or else the world will hear about it. That's why they killed her. We remember her she's in our prayers. Always. And her soul will rest in peace. She will continue to be a constant reminder of the price we can sometimes pay for being very brave, truthful, and upright. People like her no longer exist in the zoo. No longer exist in the zoo. We shall always remember and honor her. Dora Akunili, that passed on or was buried six years ago today. Remember her. Remember her. Do you see the reason why when I speak, people say you are attacking this group or that group? I don't know. It was your bad, I come after you. Don't care who you are. You know some of this, you know, <laughs> my God. I don't know why people don't reason. There is a man called Tunde Bakari. He was a former Muslim. He's one of the Bilonia Yoruba pastors. They're not scammers, so mind is IPB who are scammers. IPB is scam and the next time, the first town hall meeting will attend. I want the country that is hosting me to print a t-shirt for me with scammer, scammer at the front. Miscreant at the back. The t-shirt you make for me, I want to see the word scammer at the front of it. I will wear it. Number one scammer written on it. So that white people can ask me, why are you wearing this? To give me an opportunity to explain to them how stupid black people are. How they reason. This Tunde Bakare, he said, Buhari should not be blamed for insecurity. He's a Yoruba pastor. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> he was a former Muslim. <laughs> and now he's a born again miracle worker. 
And some of you idiots go to his church, don't you? Some of you fools, idiots to the core. Some of you hopeless fools, you go to this. Oh, my people are, children are listening. But I've called him names, honestly. Trash. Former Muslim. Trash. The greatest Yahoo Yahoo in the world is Yoruba Pentecostalism. The greatest Yahoo Yahoo you have. As a former Muslim, a pastor, a so called minister of God, look at the garbage. Can you compare this, what this fool is saying with what Bishop Cooker said? With what that archbishop said? They wrote to Trump. Pentecostalism. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going for Tari night. We are going to a mountain on the shadow. Idiots. Keep deceiving yourselves. Keep on deceiving yourselves. Keep on piling idiocy upon idiocy on your head. These are the fools you go to pray for you. If Buhari is not to blame or those ruling in his name, who do you blame? What is the meaning of accountability in a democracy? Tunde Bakari is this complete idiot, complete fool. Who do you hold accountable? Why do you think people go to vote every four years or five years or seven years? To hold the government to account. If they did well, they continue. If they didn't do well, you push them out. Accountability. That Buhari, when he was alive, campaigned on a platform of security. He's a hard man. He would defeat Boko Haram. Today, there is a security saying he's not to blame. Yoruba. Hey. Oh, I think that's how people say it. Do you see my problem? How can this man come from the same race that produced Fela, that produced Ghani Fam? How can this, this, this ardent criminal, this man is a full frontal scammer, full one from Islam to Christianity to make money. And here he's talking rubbish. Some of you will go and kneel for this imbecile. This complete idiot, this moron to pray to pray for you. And the next day you come online and you say pray for one Nigeria. God will punish you and punish your family. Only one Nigeria rubbish. Mad people everywhere. Insane people. Blacks you cannot reason. Black Africans cannot. Whites are listening and I'm telling them. Black people from Africa, we do not reason properly. Our brains are defective. Look at the idiot from Islam. Making money. They are promoting him. He's making money. Come to talk rubbish. Look at Bishop Coca. No private jet. No tight. No watering of seed. He lives in his um his um Archbishop Lodge. This one has a private jet that you contributed for. Not to free you from slavery, not to free you from Fulani Janjawidism, not to free you from your pain and your suffering. He is not a scammer. That's how foolish you are. He's those serving you who are scammers. Can you see how daft you are? Zoo people. You people make me sick. Nigerians, they make me sick. When I see them, I want to vomit. They make me sick. Very, very sick. NMPC stole your money. Fulani went to NMPC, stole your money. They reconstruct the board. It's also them. You can't complain. Zinnam the Kano with IPOB who are scammers. But you in your idiocy suffering, drinking from where you defecate, where you go to toilet, you say what? The man saving you from that life of, of, of misery is a scammer. But you idiot who doing pipeline security guard, you're, 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 you're not. Idiots everywhere. Sometimes I don't know. Elohim gave us a very hard task. He should have placed Biafra maybe in Europe or in Asia or in South America. I don't know why Elohim placed Biafra in, in Africa. I have no idea. A continent full of idiots. Right? Stupid idiots are the children in America and everywhere else. Look at how they are treating us in, in, in China. And you're bringing in Chinese uh, experts. Why are we hearing about Lloyd George? Is it George Lloyd? It's because white people came out to protest. Whites came. People deceiving themselves all the time in Africa. 
and you're asking why you were born. Look at it, your student. You know, some of you will go to his church. You will go there and be talking rubbish. Speaking in tongues. Now I call you, you know, say, it's speak like a mad person. Say you're speaking in tongues. That is why your problems persist. That is why your stupidity persists. And that is why without Biafra, you're nothing. Whenever you see IPOB, you must be very grateful. We are the children of light. Elohim made us that way. That is who we are. And that is how we are. And that is why we are ruthlessly successful. To the point that, they, you know them, they will be saying, oh, if we talk about them now, it will be as if, but the heat is too much. They must talk now. The heat can carry excess. Oh, he, he's ranting. He, he is ranting. And some of you are writing as if he's spending you. That man who is ranting is pushing the zoo to the point whereby the zoo, the government of Nigeria is issuing a press statement. What does that tell you? What does that tell you about the potency of those who are ranting? Those scammers. What does that tell you? <laughs> and a rant as well, please. Don't forget to rant Scammer, ranter, and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, miscreant, please. Don't f I, I need a t-shirt with all those names on it. So when I'm talking and I'm walking about, you'll be seeing it properly. It will remind you of your stupidity as a black man, your hopelessness and your idiots right in front of you because you cannot reason. That even in the mad people everywhere. Uh, uh, leave all this time to there now. In two weeks, I'll call the family. Ask them how far. They say he's still there. They, 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 they will unleash Shamakidon. And you see what it feels like. You are playing with us. We are your friends, so We don't want anything to do with your Nigeria. Take your Nigeria to hell with you. We don't need it. We don't want it. Take your zoo and go with you. Good people are daft. So daft. And I don't want to be in a country with foolish people who cannot reason. In Biafra land, if you go and withdraw money, the fact won't even happen. In Biafra land, do you know what it's going to look like? Every contract above the value of $150,000 equivalent in Biafran currency will be subject to a journal publication. You know what that means? It will be advertised publicly for people to tender for it. And every hearing about a public works program tender will be held in public. <laughs> we have it now. That's why we went to school. We have everything up here. Once we unleash it, <laughs> everything about me. Once we unleash our process to freedom, I'm telling you, Hausa will be writing me and begging to join Biafra. Write the, today's date down. Hausa will beg me to join Biafra. We're going to build something that will make the whole world to marvel. That the world may know that there are intelligent people who are black in Africa. That's what we want to do. Next time you will know. They think we are not age mate, we are not in the same league. Biafras and Fulani, we are not in the same league. Not at all. 21st century. You're still moving cattle from place to place, looking for water, looking for grass. You're not ashamed. You go to world council, you go to meetings with diplomats all over the world. You are all unashamedly. You see that I say, uh, is a clash between farmers. We are, we are our migratory route from 1904. You're not ashamed of yourself. 21st century. You're moving cattle from place to place. 21st century. You are not ashamed to come out to say it in public. God forbid you people. God forbid you people. Release your listener too. Or else that there will be no, no peace for the wicked though. One one slave who has written says, as I said before, he said, um, uh, 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 no, he was responding to the to the moron that wrote about um uh, about Aquaibom. Who doesn't know anything about Aquaibom? He doesn't know. He doesn't even know the book of in Aquaibom. He doesn't know. Has no idea. Hey, if you have something in common with with Biafra, and immediately Premium Times full the paper they carried it. Immediately punch they carried it. Agents of darkness, children of darkness. Upon all, they could have just gone to my page and seen the whole thing I wrote. Do you know they have a conquer in Ibibio? Do you know they have a in Ibibio? You say we have nothing in common. 
Where did that brave people come from? Or some of them are you? Where? I'm asking you. We have nothing in common. But your mother ties to peace wrapper. So does your wife. So did my mother. So does my wife. Yet you come out and you talk rubbish. You come out and you talk rubbish. <laughs> oh dear. And they will write. That's the one they write. Okay, can't you see? And the idiot writing this nonsense and uh, what's his name and uh, and the the, uh, the the fools publishing they are doing it because they want to retain access to oil the the fool in abuja writing doesn't know that he doesn't know they are going go you are niger data don't agree you are niger data say no to biafra because they need constant access to the oil in our land and some of them foolishly agree come out and make videos Looking like a, a expired pork in a in a supermarket where there is no light. This is Radio Biafra by live and direct, and the whole world is listening. Live, uh, man. Facebook reduce the number now. All of a sudden, they, they no longer want to reduce it. Reduce it now to zero. Why are you leaving it at over ten thousand? Bring it down to one thousand, and see if you can if you can if you can make me feel bad, and I will stop. Once you do it, I will grow. I will be here till twelve midnight. Mad people, they're, they're playing with us <laughs> now. They know now we are very serious and they were no longer joking. If you don't like the truth I'm preaching, then that means the devil dwells inside you. You must understand if your hands are clean, then believe you me, you have absolutely nothing to be afraid of. We are here to release everybody from bondage. I said, everybody. Even some Fulani, we are here to save everybody. Everybody, everybody. We are not leaving anyone behind. Everyone must be free. Kanuri, you will be free. Bachama, you will be free. Jukun, you will be, everybody will be free. You decide what you want to do. If you want to go and become a country people from Kanuri, you vote, you go and join them. After Alaska is in Canada, very close to Russia, but they are part of USA. Why can't people understand? Yoruba, be on your own. If you want to form uh, an alliance with the people from 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 uh, Adanawa, you form with let them. Let people decide. Let the people. That is the essence of democracy. Allow the people to decide. That's all. We are actually the true democrats, not those people talking rubbish from everywhere, talking nonsense from everywhere. We are live and we are direct, and the whole world is, of course, listening to us. And um, beware of those that come to you to ask you to make peace with the Janjaweed. Beware. Beware. Please beware. You know, if you fail to learn from history, then you're finished. What some of you are suggesting and writing to me about, the Europe has tried it, and they failed, and their land was conquered. I've told you that before. Very, very important you go back to history and understand what a minority of you are pleading for to happen every time they tell you let's move nigeria forward let's move it forward they open their borders in the north fighters are coming killers are coming in to the extent that they can no longer hold it that a governor from the north ganduja from Kano, is now saying close the borders but our borders in the south has been locked for how many years now Yoruba media cannot see it to right. That is what I find astonishing. Quite astonishing. So is this the extent of full and stranglehold on everybody in Nigeria that you see the truth you can no longer speak? That thing they did to Hausa, how many of them? They managed to do to all of you. People driving cattle from place to place. Then Achinama. You know that thing in the Bible, the first shall be the last. That is what is happening. And the last will be the, the, the first. People that came last, recent migrants, less than 200 years old. Look at what I bring to all of you, and you're falling apart, all of you. I... There was something I came across. Some of you may have seen it before. That is what I'm going to close the program with today, because we've almost been on air now for three hours. How black people behave. <laughs> Black and white. And I want to let the whole world know what they do, the way they defeat us. Because we are foolish. I want to show you. Listen very carefully, please. Listen. I've heard of this. 
but black people seem to really struggle with this one. You just don't seem to get it. Listen. You would rather fight against each other instead of your enemies. Listen. A white cartoon, I mean, is a white man saying, blacks would rather fight against each other than fight their enemies. Yorubas are suffering. People from the middle belt, they are suffering. Everyone is suffering. But they are busy fighting IPOB, trying to save all of them, than to fight the real enemy, which is full of and Jawidism. What, even in America, they know. I want to tell you the brain of a black person. That is why if you come to IPOB with the brain of a useless African man, by the time we finish on you, you start using like a human being. We sanitize and cleanse your brain. Listen. This is bad business and you will never get true freedom doing things this way. You can't get freedom. Instead, no. do what we did to gain power. We divided and conquered entire countries based on their differences. They divide, they conquer you based on your difference. When somebody comes to you and says, oh, you are Niger Delta, you're not Biafran, they are trying to divide you to conquer you. When they say the BBU has nothing to do with you, they are trying to divide you to conquer you. When they say a jaw has nothing in common, a jaw, you must be free, we are a jaw, we are a, a zone, we stay on our own, they want to divide you and conquer you. They did the same thing to Ogoni. They told Kensal, we were, you are different, you can do it, you are, you are not Yibo. Once they isolated him, they killed him. If you cannot learn from history, who can you learn from? While holding true to our similarities, I am white. They hold, this is the template of the Fulani. They hold closely those they are tied with. That's why they used to call themselves uh, Hausa Fulani until we broke that nonsense. And tell them you're Fulani, you're different from Hausa. Hausa people are good people. Fulani, you are not. Did you hear what the white man said? We hold on to what makes us similar, but we accentuate what divides you. And that is what IPOB is battling. We want to stop them from dividing us because together we are stronger, together we are one. Not that one may rule over the other, no. We go back to the mosaic structure we had before. Be on your own. Take care of your land and the resources within it. That is all. Who can argue with that? Only fools. But fortunately for us, we are IPOB and we are not. And I must thank you very much this very evening for having listened to this very three-hour rendition of Radio Biafra, our special program. I thank all of you for listening this very evening. And also, maybe those at Facebook this evening, maybe they're sleeping. <laughs> maybe that maybe they're not universe they're sleeping I must proclaim unequivocally without fear nor favor and assuredly as one who worships the most high that Biafra is our religion even our enemies know this. our enemies they know this as well and here on radio Biafra is where we worship because Elohim Chukwo Kika Biyama Prumi Hanine is our God. And from me, from here, with all the love in my heart, to all of you, both friends and foes alike, I say good evening. <laughs>
and you will fool no. You will question no, and you will fool no. You will need a question no, and you will fool. Oh, you be the lonely, lonely, lonely one. Na mala mala na na tia denilo. Mili lule lule no wa no mama mama manja. Mili lule lule wa mama mama manja. Anu ko mo nanda abata go go. Fa abata go bodo. Fa abata go bodo. Ifa na zikita bunu bunu ayo. Bunu bunu ibani danda. Aya bunu bunu o. Ivani Danda, bunu bunu o, Ivani Danda, aya bunu bunu o, Ivani Danda, onja bona nyelu wani yaka o, Ivani Danda, ifu faka bana kwali ni mafia, Ivani Danda, ne timu na mama tobi no, Ivani Danda, makananda matago bona nyelo, Ivani Danda. If I know you, bunu bunu, if I need a da, when you bunu I will come out. When you bunu I will give you my Libya. Don't quite figure it, just go go away. Nda bata go boda ni. Fatu lebeni na, fana chosi bage kuwensu. Mobile mwa, nda le manjeli. Akwanda li manjeli, vadu lo poda. Eti ne ba na dule le poda talaje. Ebe yi le ba na don pumano kanjo aga jojo. Ibo molo na nya kani chewa ba no ma. Ibo chewa ba no unu. Ausa ba choka. Ausa ba choka. Ibo chewa ba no unu. Ausa ba choka. Ibo chewa ba no unu. Ausa ba choka. Kani chabu li bu 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 danda. Ausa ba choka. Ojo bo na tinyaka o. Ausa ba choka. Ojo bo na bo chewa ba no unu. Ausa ba choka. Ibo chewa ba no unu. Ausa ba choka. Ife malo, 